my god! Didn't that just blow your freaking mind? <laughs> Thank you to Studio Hun for helping us out with that. Uh, I look forward to seeing it more. <laughs> and thank you to Dan TS Inferno once again for making a banger of an intro song for us. So, all over Faerun, in every tavern, in every gathering place, people are getting together. People with talents and skills who look at the world and think to themselves, maybe there's something else. Maybe there's something more that could be done than the regular existence we all enjoy. Everywhere in Faerun and Toril, throughout this world and the worlds beyond, adventures are beginning. Friendships are being made. And history is being written. Nobody knows how these stories all end. But everybody knows how they'll be remembered. Hello, and welcome to the Mercenaries of Mischief. <sighs> <laughs> I am your benevolent, I'm your benevolent Dungeon Master Puck, and I'm joined today by these Mercenaries of Mischief, our friends who are under siege, who I will now introduce in no particular order. Master of Skeletons, Pen Wright, joining us today. Master of Hellfire, Lilla Singer, joining us today as well. Master of Multiple Dimensions, Kishano the Quick, joining us. G the God Slayer, Norbog the Hugbear, <laughs> joining us today as well. And of course, the all powerful Silver Lady, Miss Jibetta Fucking Knot, is here with us as well. When last we jo joined our heroes. Man, what a journey it has been. <laughs> what started as calm times at the Avalon Knights Academy has turned to family drama, vampire hunts, fighting literal nightmares, a beautiful wedding, a kidnapped student and long lost friends. And now, an attack by alien tentacle monsters. It's truly been a year. Our heroes are at the Avalon Knights Academy, which is now under siege by not one, not two, but three Nautiloid ships, which are summoning an entity known as Mother Brain to the Avalon Knights Academy. <laughs> It's a yes, it's a reference. Okay. <laughs> uh Kishano thinks this is awesome. Pan and Lilith have just been thrown from one of the burning Nautiloid ships that they may or may not have blown up a little bit. And uh the rest of the party is on the mage tower. And we now join this scene in progress. And behold the large scale battle map of the Avalon Knights Academy, complete with burning Nautiloid Shit. ship. Shit. <laughs> this is so cool, Buck! What the fuck? I mean, I hate mm. it, but it's cool! <laughs> so, let me explain to you how this works. The Academy is under siege, folks. The many buildings of the Academy are under attack by Mind Flayers and their minions. This includes the Blacksmith Shop, the main keep, the student dorms, the training hall, Yat Village Underground, Cookie's Crab Shack, the brewery, uh, the stables, and the shipping house. Before on, we begin, this... we have ultimates for Norbog and Jobetta. <laughs> Thank Fuck, I, I just gotta understand. This is the sh this is the ship we were trying to steal. Yes, the one that is on fire. <laughs> oh my god, let's let's continue this. <laughs> I didn't know it was this big. The various denizens of the a Avalon Knights Academy are working to dispatch the invaders. They are doing their best. 
But they could surely use the help of the Academy's greatest heroes. And if you help them, you in turn will be helped. So that being said, there are little bonuses you get for liberating each one of these places. And let me tell you about them right now. So, the blacksmith shop, when liberated, will provide players with plus one to their AC across the board and plus one to all attack rolls across the board. Yat Village, when liberated, can be used to liberate another area free of charge, supplying you with many eager troops of orcs, goblins, and kobolds to assist with the oncoming attack. The Training Hall, when liberated, will give you a plus two to your dice rolls to resolve the rest of them once things come to an abrupt end. The Academy Dorms will also apply a plus two to uh, resolving ending conflicts. The Academy Keep has something special about it. So, you all have been using a lot of ultimates this year since we put them in, and that's due in part to our incredible community who keeps giving them to you. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if there was like a premium ultimate? Like an, like an ultimate ultimate. So, at any point, you can spend three ultimates to summon one of Avalon Knights Academy's most powerful allies. Maybe it could be Nuvarim. Maybe it could be Regulus Ku. Maybe it could be one of the gods that owe you a favor. Maybe it could be the Crabkin. Who knows? Maybe you can turn Scott into a proper lich and send him on the Mind Flayers. There are a lot of different options available. Shit. Okay. All right. And if you liberate the Academy Keep, you'll get one of these free as a gift from your dungeon master. Okay. If for you the <laughs> question. For the just spending <laughs> for the just spending three, does it have to does one person have to have three or can we one that? person? Okay. <laughs> one person, and you gotta tell me who you want to summon. If you liberate the stables. The various beasts of the Avalon Knights Academy will run rampant, dealing 3-6 damage, 3d6 damage to all enemies in an area the moment you enter it. If you liberate the brew house, William and Melissa will give you their finest brews. You will have three options for additional special bonuses in combat. I don't want to reveal them yes just yet, but you gotta see. And if you liberate Cookie's Crab Shack, you receive the benefits of a full rest instantly. Oh. Yes. I have rolled some dice to determine how long it takes for Mother Brain to arrive. Whenever you conquer or disrupt a Nautiloid ship, you add two to that number. Once Mother Brain arrives, she will make the Avalon Knights Academy, her lair. And she will unleash powerful lair actions on you until she is dealt with. It's gonna be rough. I'm gonna be counting that down over here. Uh, you guys won't know, but just know that it's coming. So, my players, the stage is set. Now let us begin. Stressed already. <laughs> by, by, uh, by rolling initiative? Uh, not yet. So you guys are under attack. Where are you going? The Academy is under assault. Mind Flayers and their minions are being dispatched to all places. Where's Jobetta? Jobetta's on the tower with you. You think this is awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. I still think uh, this is awesome. <laughs> um, Jobetta, the time Jobetta. has arrived! Finally, everything we've been working for! Gathering the young minds! The mother's here for the harvest! Uh, and jo Jobetta goes, nope! And <laughs> protection from evil and good, hoping that will... Alright, 
protection from evil and good, and the influence of mother fades from Kishano. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Still think it's awesome? <laughs> no. Shit. Where's my soul? That was much better than my plan. I was just going to hit him in the head until he knocked it out. It's in my boot. May I? I mean, it's his soul. I'll give it to him. <laughs> right. She's like, it's your soul. Like, I don't know. Look, the way I see it, we've got multiple ships, we've got multiple targets, we've got multiple things to kind of look out for here. We can use as many of us as possible. I'm gonna go try something. Um, and I make for the stairs. What? Going I, down to the you vault. Just, oh, 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 he, nope, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> just don't worry about it. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about it. Don't worry about um, it. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, where should we go? Um, Why are you considering we're... that, Puck? Um, I would like to complicate your entire situation. Okay. Oh, um, I would <laughs> like to this use. Is, an... This is basically what I expect from you at this point. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would like to use an ultimate, not the one that Kashano has. Uh, okay. Instead, one that has been sitting in the wings for, God, I want to say like a year. Um, I would like to call in Lucathor's oh, other ultimate. Fuck. Okay. From out of the sky, a little rift in reality opens as pops into view oh my God. a small ship. And. From a loudspeaker atop the ship, you hear echoing across the keep. There you are, you little squid fuckers! Kneel before Lucador! I'll let no. you decide what the stats of the ship are, but oh it's going God. to attack one of the not on fire nautiloids. Very well. Also, uh -huh. um,. We have an intro for everyone, and there are six of those, so I believe that that means the DM gets one as well. Uh, that's an ultimate? Or Yeah, sorry, an ultimate for the intro. You said sorry. an intro. You, you said, said uh, for such a badass intro, everyone gets an ultimate. Oh, oh okay. I see. That, oh, okay. boy. I can't wait Morgan to use mine. Uh, so, <laughs> so uh, let's say Lucathor has come down and completely disrupted one Zero. of the Nautiloid ships. Adding five to the timer. <laughs> yeah! So, uh, what are you going to do with Corp Shano? Um, yeah, when I get down to the vault, I'm going to try to get in there. Um, if I have to let MT1 like, unlock it or whatever. Oh yeah, he, he's opened it up. Everything's in crisis mode. People are running all over the place. He, be like, uh, MT1 is locking down the tower so nobody can get in or out. <laughs> All right, uh, wild guess, and I open his mouth, and I shove my soul into the mouth of my body. Okay. <laughs> Corpshano lives again. <laughs> Good. Where the fuck? You son of a bitch! And uh, Corpshano slaps Shano the quick. Ah, fuck! Hey, fuck you! Slaps him back. All right, hold on. What's going on here? We're under attack. Look, here's the thing. This is complicated. We'll sort it out later. Uh, for the moment, fucking mind flayers everywhere. Mind flayers? Why? Don't you... Yes, mind flayers. Look, here's the deal. Um, you, 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 you gotta save some shit. Uh, and I will take off my uh cloak. Like, look, okay. it's still bound to me. It should be bound to you, right? And I will slap it, uh, tie it around him, and I will hand him the staff of thunder and lightning. Okay. Look, it should still work for you. They were tuned for me, but I, I know it's a lot. You got to get your shit together right now. All right. Fine. What, what, what's the situation? I, I think the goblins. Go for the goblins. All right. Goblins. Yeah, village. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. All right. We're going to talk about this later. Hey, look. I've got as much problem as this dude. All right, look. Hey, stop. Fuck it. Go. All right. Uh, and 
Kushano the Risen goes after uh, the Yat Village while uh, Kushano the Quick runs probably towards Training Hall. All right. You guys see Kishano running towards the training hall. And another Kishano running towards Yat Village. <laughs> so Lilith and I have, have touched down at this yeah, point. Yeah, you and... guys are out of this burning ship now. Oh god, everything's here. And I Lilith is near did she land in the pond? <laughs> I'd say she's floating over there. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, I... Are you okay? I'm fine, look! And I'm, like, inside of the ribcage of Big Sexy, like, like in a suit of bone armor, essentially, with him around me, which is I wasn't that? expecting. The tomb is protected. <laughs> is that your creature? It's him! He's back! It's great. It's different. He does. You know what else looks different? And I kind of gesture widely. <laughs> we should probably, like, do something about this. That I have adjusted myself to better protect the tomb. Oh, you talk a lot now. All right. right. Uh, yeah. uh, can Norbog and I see, like, from the main shower? Oh, yeah, you can see two area. Kishanos running in different directions. One's headed to Yat Village, the other one's headed to the training hall. Well, it's like, he did the, he went and got the... Yeah, why are you surprised? Yeah, I, I'm not. Yeah. I just, yeah, whatever. Um, um, my instinct also said Yacht Village because those are my people. Uh, also, I do not trust Shano. Uh, so I'm going to take off to the Yacht Village. Okay. Thank you, because after I said where each room goes, I was like, oh, wait, hold on. The other Kishano is probably going to be <laughs> passive. We should get the Yacht Village first. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah, also, like, as a player, I like the freebie of getting another thing without having to take it over. So, like... <laughs> I want my goblin people on my side. I I have given the rewards based on the difficulty for each area. <laughs> so I, Bring it on! <laughs> oh, good. I got me in the I think our odds are pretty good. What's the Yat Village? Uh, Yat Village, if you liberate it, you can uh, liberate for free another area using the various oh, okay, yeah. members of Yat Village to ask. Also, like, there's children in that area. And also, yeah. we might get the Gala Anna on our side if we free that area too, because he's usually over there. So, like, yeah, seems like um, Jobetta. Jobetta is going to go towards Yat Village as well. Uh, assuming is Wake and Mind open? Uh, I highly doubt okay. it because I wouldn't have been prepared for that. I don't even know y'all are there. <laughs> uh, Jobetta's like, Jobetta's like, Pum! <laughs> And I turn around Yelling and I'm like, the... "Oh, hey!" D -d 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 oh, and I'll I'll, I'll open Awakened Mind. Um, I don't know how safe this is, but yeah, hi. Uh, looks like one of the Kashan one of the Kashanos is going to Yat Village. Uh, and Norbog went with him, so we should go there. And Jobetta's like, as soon as he opens Awakened Mind, she starts like running down the tower too, so that. Like she's right. on the way. MT1 announces to you that he will keep the Mage Tower safe and that anybody you rescue from any other areas, send them to the Mage Tower and he will keep them safe inside. Uh, I'm like, thank you, MT1! And like, I'm running. <laughs> as I'm like, running by. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I'm, I'm I'm telling Penn that that's where I think that we should all go. Or I guess I'm telling everyone in Awakened Mind, but yeah. Um, so. And then and then I'm heading there with Kashano and Norbog. Where are you guys going? You going to Yat Village then? Yeah. Where, Cap <laughs> where is... Oh, yeah, because I... So, where is Yat Village? Well, if I'm map? begging you, don't go to the Crab Shack alone. <laughs> I need it. I, are they, you can they control this ship, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no it's definitely on, not. It's on fire. <laughs> I yeah, can't do the thing with you, Pen. I need to go to the crash shack. <laughs> it's it's okay, buddy. Uh, we, yeah, village is northwest, okay. right? Yeah. That's the top corner. Cause why? The things that are attacking the people are coming from the ships, right? Uh, yeah, but they're already here. <laughs> yeah, but all right. Um, so I look at Lilith and I'm like, Jobetta think, well, I mean, you're in Awakened Mind, you heard. Are you ready to go? Are you okay? We I can help you. I, and I, 
It's okay, buddy. As, I'm telling you, <laughs> as your dungeon master, yeah, do I not know. go to any of these places alone. <laughs> Just let us make bad choices and live with the consequences. We will Look, never learn unless you hit us again. If, if Kashano goes alone, it's fine because we have another one. Yeah, we've got, we've got an extra. <laughs> We have an extra one laying around. I look, I see Lilith very conflicted. I'm like, look, I'll go with you wherever you go, but we gotta go somewhere, and they're going that way. We do the yak thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for not complicating my life. Yeah, There's plenty of time for that. We live to complicate your life. You do. All right. Actually only thing I'm here for. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that off. All right, so oh, here we oh are god. at Yat Village. Oh god. Oh, it's a dungeon. Great. Well, it is, the, it is the Yat Village underground section, so Yat we Village playing, is a city. We are playing Dungeons and Dragons. Sorry. It is a city that exists above ground and below ground. Uh, so the moment that you guys slip into the underground, you hear the sounds of battle and ruckus. There's loud conflict happening everywhere. There are cries of help to your uh, right and to your left. And to your left, you hear Yeebe. Come at me. Yee I'm right in there. I'll cut you all down. <laughs> I'm direct, going directly to Yeebe. Because uh, that's okay. that's who uh, I think Corp Shano is looking for first. Yeah, are we with, K where's Kishano Kishano? If this is Corp Shano. Kishano Kishano went to the training hall. <laughs> Give me a second to pout in my nose. I need to dig some cure wounds first. <laughs> I can't go into battle. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead yeah. and roll up initiatives. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Are you hurt, and, Lola? Uh, Do you need healing? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, battle. Right here. I I got when you all you. show up, Shana is huh, like, yeah. oh, good, you're all here. Um, I'm, I'm the one that was dead until a few minutes ago, just so well here. Yeah, we okay, can tell thanks. because you don't have pants on. Yep. Yeah, that works. <laughs> And you still have the note pinned to your chest that I wrote. Oh. All right, <laughs> and you look like shit. <laughs> Please <laughs> refrigerate. <laughs> yeah. How many times can I cure myself before we start battle? Um, once. Just... Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Do we hear anyone to the right side? Uh, yes, there are cries happening to the right side as well. Good, I want but no one we recognize. <laughs> Nobody, no, no voices that you recognize immediately. No, you yeah, know that. Uh, so the left is a meeting hall. It's the official Yat Village underground meeting hall, and to the right is uh, the Yat Village Yat Village Spirits uh, store. <laughs> I'll go right. The liquor right. store. I trust our ability to split in this hallway. It is a liquor store. Yeah, especially if. Jobetta goes one side and Norbog goes yeah. the other side. Yeah. All right, I got Pen, I got Jobetta, I got Lilith, but I don't have Kashano. Where's Kashano? Kashano's right there. I yeah, he's right there. Broski. I don't have him in the list. I don't know Where? why he didn't come in the list. I did roll Did you click on your icon? I did. I even moved him. I don't think I'm in the list. Norbog Manual Norbog. order. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, roll 20. Don't do this to me on the finale. <laughs> It oh, can no and it will. will. It's locking no, up. No, it's will. locking up. No. Oh, no. no. It's all those fire effects. Uh, <laughs> great. <laughs> Holy shit. All okay. right. It's all those dope fire effects. All right. Kashano's at 24. Norbog's at 13. Oh, we have another ultimate for Jobetta. Woo! Oh, boy. Does that make three? Oh, fucks. That does I think make that three. does make three. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Norbog's in at 13. I gotta roll up these other intellect devourers, and then we're ready to fight. You can do it, roll 20. I believe in you. There we go. Okay. All right. Kishano's first. What do you got? Yibi right. is in here with a bunch of intellect devourers. Um, yeah, I am going to run on in. 
and they're not close enough for that. I am going to uh, draw a weapon. Okay. Draw a weapon becomes. Do 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 do. Pistol. Perfect. I'll stay right where the fuck I am. Um, oh, that's just what you wanted. <laughs> and I'll shoot. It's, uh, it's like Christmas. I'll shoot the intellect devourer number seven right okay. in its brain, which is the entirety of it. Yeah, that's the, the it's all brain. It's right, all brain it's, all the time. Self. That's a 19 to hit. 19 is a hit, sir. You have nailed it. Beautiful. And that'll do 12 damage. All right. 12 damage. Uh, it is heavily wounded as bits of brain matter scatter across the floor. And it turns to you. Yibby, and, fuck uh, him up. It just whispers in your mind, enemies. He still uh, has protection from good and evil. Which yes. That out. <laughs> um, also, and as, a, as a bonus action, uh, I will uh, inspire Jibeta. Uh, hey! Also, we can use that brain. three ultimate thing at any point, like on my turn, right? Yep, anytime you okay. like. All right, John, oh, I need you to check your messages. Okay. Um, <laughs> but actually, uh, I, I do want to wreck on for a second. Kashano yells, Brains! Um, <laughs> to inspire Gilbetta. Excellent. Nice. Well done. I was thinking of similar things. Uh, Gilbetta, I am on board. Hondo okay. percent. Okay. Love it. All right, uh, Lilith, you're up. Okay. Um, I guess they got that side. I'll hop in over here. There's two devourers. Okay. It's gonna be the tiebreaker here. All right. Uh, fuck this place. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> there are friendlies there are, in there here. There are friendlies. Lilith. <laughs> What? There are There's friendlies. one person on the side. Who's There's the other person? Two. <laughs> Where? Oh. Probably in a corner you can't see. Yeah. Wow. I, oh, I this can't see him. Thing that looks already. This one right here, the pony. Uh, if that is a punk rock orc. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I was like, I don't know any others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there, okay. There are other spells. <laughs> you got me. Fuck. All I know how to do is burn people down. <laughs> You're you trying me. to save the academy, not burn it down. <laughs> and like a phoenix, it shall rise again <laughs> from the ashes. <laughs> All right. Um, who needs intellect devourers with friends like these? There is yeah, right. uh, the the right. purveyor of Yat Village spirits, uh, Miss Okra Spurt, uh, and her young punk rock daughter. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I forgot to attune my bow. Shit. All right. Um, I'm gonna try to fire with my unattuned bow. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, you know, swish swish, bang bang. <laughs> Did it does an 18 hit? Uh, absolutely, it does. Three. Please die. A so, six. I feel so weak. <laughs> the arrow <laughs> hits home into the intellect devourer, and some blood spurts out, and the brain matter goes, and it turns. More enemies. No. We will drink your thoughts. No, no, no. <laughs> And then it runs over to drink your thoughts. <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go again. Let's do this. Just fixed the. <laughs> and first it tries to eat your brain. I need an intelligence saving throw, please. You actually have a plus to it now. <laughs> okay. Intelligence saving throw, go. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I'm not going through this again. Are there I... any rerolls laying around? I don't have a reroll. Burn an ultimate brain shield. Fuck this thing. Okay. Keep my brain skin. No. You're like, no. <laughs> All right. So you still take the psychic damage. <laughs> it's 2d10s worth of psychic damage. All right. 
12 damage. Thank god I cured myself before this. <laughs> Thank goodness, or else you would have lost 10 intelligence. <laughs> we would have been right back where we were last week. <laughs> Alright, it attacks you with claws for 23. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna say, it's best to fight at a distance with these <laughs> bastards, just so you know, as I'm, like, trying to fight this thing away from my head. <laughs> <laughs> Claws you for, uh, just a little bit, just for five damage. Oh, it hits me more? Yeah, it claws you with a 23 for five damage. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Norbog. I don't Come really, to spray some brains. <laughs> I don't really do long range, I say to Lilith, as I come up next to her. And for one, I'm going to surprise attack. Uh, okay. It's my first round of combat. So 2d6 will get added. But also I'm going to rage. Okay. Uh, but, but, where's my wild magic? Okay. Uh, 1d8 for my wild magic chart. That is a two. So I get the effect of you can teleport up to 30 feet away to an unoccupied space until my rage ends. I can use this as a bonus action. Excellent. I clearly don't do that right now, but that's useful to have. Um, yes, it all is. All right. So I'm just going to take a swing on him then with my heart's floor and thicket. Very well. Uh, we got a $75 donation from Ryle. Ryle, were you awarding uh, ultimates with that? Or is this just a, a donation? That is a hit. Or a comment. Cool, so it's gonna take that damage plus 2d6. You destroy it. You come Great. down, it's just... <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, can I use my Barbarian Misty stuff now then that I rolled with my Wild Search? A hundred percent you may. Beautiful, so 30 feet, I'm gonna... Yep, that'll get me 25 feet to this one. I'm gonna attempt to take swing at him. All right. 22 to hit. Uh, 22 is a hit. And damage. Uh, 12 plus 8 plus 3. Okay, so uh, you completely destroy this one as well. I mean, short range works just as well, Lilith. I don't know what the big <laughs> deal is. I don't know what the big deal is. Just, uh, good job! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Completely missing the sarcasm in her tone of voice and just thinking she's being sincerely complimented by one of her best friends. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Okra and Fizzle thank you emphatically and make their way out of Yat Village. Uh, can, can I ask them on the way out what else is in here? Oh, uh, on the way out she says your parents have made sure they don't get any deeper inside. They're down the hall. You're gonna murder my parents for a third time. God damn it. I, look, I mean... They're everywhere. They're in and the you, daycare. Vakila Anna is defending the children. And you put them in one of the hardest areas. I'm going to remember this. Fuck. Look, that's where they live. <laughs> I'm sorry. They didn't this have to stay there. This can't I be the attacked. hardest area. The no. hardest area has to be the keep and the crab shack because those are the <laughs> two best like things. Yeah, but if we get this one, we can liberate one of those without trying. That would be good. See? I'm smart. Sometimes that's I'm smart. Okay. Intellect Devourer 7 does not like being beat up by Corpse Shano. He's going to run up and try to eat his brains. Corpse Shano needs an intellect saving throw. <laughs> and I realized that I, I switched the weapon. So now Corpse Shano has the Soul Sever and the other one has oh, the oh. staff. Whatever. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that he, he wasn't supposed to have this. 22. Does that say it? You're A-OK. -okay. You don't take anything. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Still here, motherfucker. <laughs> tries to claw you with a 15. <laughs> 15 does not do it. All right, Jobetta, you're up. Dead, dead intellect devourers don't get turned. Right. It's a hard rule. Um, hard rule. Uh, <laughs> Jobetta is like, Jobetta's looking around and she's like, fuck, there's a lot going on. She's like, I need some fucking help. Like, I cannot be the only clip, like, not be the only one to like help do this. And she like summons everything and she's like, I just I can't do this alone. I need help. I'm going to spend all my ultimates. And she says, I need you. I call upon the great roll down. <laughs> <laughs> like a comet from the sky. <laughs> An orange blur. 
lands in the middle of the chaos. Rolda is here! <laughs> I love it, thank oh. you. Um, can I still do a bonus action? Uh, sure. <laughs> okay. um, and then I'll just uh, do spiritual weapon and try to bonk this one on the head. Okay. Uh, uh, that is a hit. Cool, that's These... a 17 force damage. It dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! The, the one closest to Kashana, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it, you smash it with your spectral weapon. <laughs> like It's a, a little whine as it collapses to the ground. The intellect cool. devourers are not strong. They just eat your brains. Yeah. <laughs> that's the worst thing about them. <laughs> cool. Uh, well, that's my turn. In fairness, that is a pretty terrible thing. It's a pretty me. bad thing. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. All right, Intellect Devourer comes at Yeebi. Attempts to eat Yeebi's brains. <gasps> no. Yeebi fails. <gasps> Yeebi takes... Seven psychic damage. And Yeebi's intelligence is reduced by... Eight. Reducing him to an intelligence Wait. of four. Hold on. Yep. Are these... Are they immune to being charmed? Uh, yes. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck. Also, do we need to get... Does Rolla need to, like, oh, yeah. roll initiative? Or how does that work? I'm okay, sure. so I'll let yeah. you... You can do one or two. <laughs> Alright, so... We can do a broad spectrum effect for Rolda. Which, for Rolda, because uh, of R Rolda's nature and the things they did, we could say that Rolda's spirit guardians deal damage to all of the enemies currently present for you. Uh, in the amount that spirit, spirit guardians deal damage. Or, you can have Rolda join you for this fight. Or, how, can I pitch something? Can we sure. have her basically calm emotions, all the friendlies in the keep, so everybody gets advantage on uh, Shit. saving being, throws? Yeah, saving throws for being what is it? What do they usually get for being charmed or um? Uh, fuck, what does it do? I don't have it on hand. So but whatever, frightened. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? We can give that too. What do you, What do you want to use? Uh, it's your ultimates, so Sarah, you decide. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? What do you want damage, Rolda's effect to be? Just, damage, just, ongoing Rolda, or uh, calm emotions. Everybody gets advantage on saving throws and avoids charms and fears. Um. Yeah, let's do that. I feel like in this in this exact situation, that's going to be okay. more useful to keep everybody from getting just dumber and fucking dumber. Yeah, there is a lot of intellect to eat around here. Yeah. Uh, all right. And that's five. Pen! Howdy. Uh, okay, so I hear them dealing with this, and I know I can hear people killing things handily. Um, I know, I've been down here, I know this is the liquor shop. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna sprint in here, and I'm actually gonna use... Uh, I'm gonna use double my movement to dash to be able to get in here and get out. Okay. And I'm gonna breeze past these two, seeing that they've killed everything, and be like, grab all the liquor you can. And I'm like, and I grab, I guess like two bottles, because I'm, I'm, you know, just human. I got small hands. Um, okay. And I'm gonna grab a couple of bottles of those and uh, and sprint you back see out. Several bottles of fire wine. Perfect. The expensive stuff. That'll work great. Man, uh, now's not the time to drink. Maybe it is. <laughs> no, but it's the time for more fireballs, Lilith. And I, like, hold produce flame in one hand. And I'm like, eh, eh. And I run back oh. out. Uh, which that will have used, like, all my movement and actions just to get that stuff together. But I will have it and be looking to run uh, further down the hall. <laughs> and that's my turn. All right. Uh, next up is the other intellect devourer in the room. And, I mean, it, 
gonna come around the corner and try to devour the intellect of Miss Jabetta fucking not. Intelligence saving throw, please. Oh, wait, are we getting advantage of, on the intelligence saving? Oh, well, I don't need that. Never mind. Just turns out Jilbretta's brain is swole as fuck. <laughs> Everyone is smarter than me. <laughs> also, that doesn't hit. Okay, cool. So it does nothing to you. Kashano, you're up again. Okay. Um. So, Ryle clarified that those three ultimates were for Lucathor. Um. So, I don't know. Do we do we play that out as just Lucathor can deal more damage, or does Lucathor get to summon an ally? Oh, shit, <laughs> a Lucathor ally. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, so I don't know who a Lucathor ally would be. Uh, I have so, an idea. Like, oh, do Lucathor you? <laughs> <laughs> do you now? Lenny? Ah, uh, Lenny. Could be Lenny. Just throw a generic you know on the field. You know what? <laughs> sure. Maybe Lucathor can summon an ally. Uh, yeah, so Lucathor is like flying around and hassling this Mind Flayer ship, and a hatch pops open on top of his ship and up pokes a hooded skeleton head and it's just like oh i've never liked mind flares and he leaps off of lucathor's ship onto one of the nautiloids and uh starts like looking for an entrance he's gonna go in and hassle the other ship okay i will say that lenny provides additional disruption on top of it lenny has the additional ability of death doesn't really matter and we'll give you one redo on a character death for the duration of this game. <laughs> so, right. uh, the next person that dies, Lenny will just automatically bring them back. <laughs> All right. That is awesome. <laughs> and that's your turn, Kashan. <laughs> okay, fair. You know what? <laughs> fair. Well, if, what do you got? Jobet is under attack. <laughs> uh, how many ultimates do I have? I mean, only in like the technical sense. You have currently one left. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll try to angle myself to sh shoot a thing over here in front of Jobetta. Go for it. Yeah, you know, with my. With my bow and arrow. <laughs> uh, we have three group rerolls from Wild Wolf. All right. Hit. An 11 does not hit. Are you in any way inspired? I'm not inspired. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need to be in an open space. I don't do well with closed corridors. <laughs> I don't do well in tight spaces. There's too many people here. Fuck, I just like another good ally. Waving my arrow around. <laughs> Norbog. Um, um, um. There's two intellect hours left, right? Uh, yes. Uh, probably help y'all take care of those. One did just try to eat Jobetta's brains. Yeah, I should probably. I don't. Mm, yeah. But Jobetta's brain is also ripped, just like pens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move my. That is just like casually, like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't 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 do that. Forty feet of action puts me there, and then I have uh my barbarian misty step has kicked in, so I can teleport another thirty. Yeah. Thirty will get me over to the one who's attacking Yibi. Uh, Yibi doesn't look so good. He looks pale, and he yeah. looks like he's been hitting the brain. That's why I'm heading over there to him. So I'm going to take my two swings at him. First one, 15. 15 is a hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, they, they're not beefy. You need damage. more than 11 and less than 15. <laughs> 12 plus 5 plus 3. 12 plus 5 plus 3. That's 17 damage. 
Uh, still alive, still kicking, squealing at you as spikes are pouring out of its brain, blood everywhere. Okay, well, I fuck him up with the 28 then. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Uh, and hit him with 14 plus 7 plus 3. Okay, now it's really dead. Like, there, it's just separate. The parts of the brain that the legs are connected to, it's, like, completely severed and just mush now. Great. Uh... Yeah, and I just turned to E.B. and... My hey, hand hey. hurts. Yeah, they do that. You okay? I... I don't know yet. Can you get to the mage tower? Yeah. Okay, get to the mage tower. And off he goes. E.B.'s intelligence score has been reduced substantially. <laughs> we can fix it later, maybe? Can I... Can I... As he's going out, can I grab him? And just be like, hey, no, 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 bud. And uh, touch his head, just yell, undo, uh, and burn an ultimate. <laughs> okay. Uh, burn an ultimate, I'll give you uh, 2d6 to return back for him. Okay. Five. All right. What does that bring him up to? He was at 12. He lost four. Or sorry, he okay. lost eight. Oh, okay. Sorry, he was at 12. He lost eight. So uh, that puts him back up to nine. Nine. Which is still better than most goblins. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's where Lilith used to be. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's well, still well, better we'll than you, where I was. We'll get fixed up, but I promise. I promise. Thank both you. Of us. We'll get both be of us. Be careful out up. there. And he runs past you and heads out towards the mage tower. Jabetta, there is still one horrible mind flayer spawn creature in front of you. I mean, I guess I'll. St I've already got a spiritual weapon up, so I'll yep. start with just a bonk. I'll start with a bonk. Uh, kick this off with a bonk. Yeah, I'll do that first, and then see if any further action is required. That's a twenty-one to hit. Nineteen yeah. force damage. That'll do it. Um. Still kicking. <laughs> oh, this one's a little made tougher stuff than the last one. Well, the last one had a little bit of damage from Kashama oh, shooting it in the face before. <laughs> um, shooting it in the brain face. <laughs> then I will do something that I hardly ever do, uh, which is I'll use my Lunar's Edge uh, sword to try to lestab. All right. It'll probably do it. Nope. 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 Never mind. <laughs> nope. Plus, plus six, but you roll. <laughs> yep. I rolled a two. What? Again, I just said that I don't ever why, use it that why much. Why doesn't the dice like you I, on that sword? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> With an eight. Pen, you're up. It's up to you, buddy. They've got that. It's a brain. Also, I can't throw a Molotov in a, in a room with two of my friends. And <laughs> yeah, but you have like Eldritch Blast, <laughs> Not right? I can't do that here. I'm going to the daycare. <laughs> uh, I do have Eldritch Blast. Uh, so yeah, I will. I'll, I'll hit it with an eldritch. If I can get it through, then yeah, I'll hit it with Just an eldritch give, blast. Give him the finger gun eldritch blasts <laughs> as I run by. Yeah. Uh, pew, pew. Boop. And I think do I roll? It'll, it it'll probably be enough. It it's wasn't enough. I do it twice. <laughs> I'm a I'm a tenth level warlock. That's six Second damage total. So the first one hits like. And then the second one blows it apart completely. <laughs> Great. And and yeah, I'm going to use the rest of my movement to uh, get down the hall. So I imagine Jobetta went from way. like, like when the first one hits and it's just like, pew, she's like, and then the second Seriously? one hits and she's like, ah! <laughs> it's like brains everywhere. So yeah, and I'm just going to move down the hall. I don't, I'll do the measurement to see it right there. God, this is a long haul. Okay, you hear a sound like a crack of lightning. From Coming down from the, the left side room. There's lightning. Pen, please don't wander off too far alone by yourself. It could I'm be not. Vitella Lilith and, and I are he going. Does, he does lightning stuff. Oh, great. Love him. Pen's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, he's so cool. <laughs> Hate that guy. Uh, Kishano, you're up again. 
Um, yeah, Kashana will uh, also go on down the hall. Um, what did I say? I gave this one the shadow cloak. Uh, yeah. Is there a shadow nearby that I can pop into? The whole Ooh. place is a little bit dark, so there are shouters everywhere. Okay. That village underground was specifically engineered for the goblinoids and other monstrous creatures who are not yet used to the sunlight. Right. I'm going to shadow pop to over there then. Okay. You enter the room and you can see a mind flare and two thought, two intellect devourers advancing on Vakala Enna. Vakala Enna has a small knife in hand and along his other arm he has jabbed himself with a series of quills, mm -hmm. which are all bleeding. Okay. Uh, he has lightning crackling from his horn, and there are a couple of children uh, cowering behind him, and he appears to be protecting them. Um, I'll take a shot at the intellect devourer. All right. Uh, with my weapon, which is still out. Or through all of my variations of weapons. That's a 17. 17 is a hit. Intellect Devourer is hit for... 13 points of damage. Oh, you hit it hard. Blood spurts across the floor. And Vakala Enna says, I cannot resist them much longer. Your assistance is appreciated, although I had wished it would be more timely. <sighs> well, we'll do what we can. I was dead until, like, five minutes ago, so... You're welcome. This place is so weird. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, actually, oh. yeah, I'll throw inspiration uh, over my shoulder at Lilith, just like, ah, oh, hey, uh, need some, uh, some, some brain protection here, maybe. <laughs> Are you talking to me? Because I think that's you can't be talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> you draw people and shit still, right? I don't know. No. Maybe stuff happened since I was out. Look. <laughs> He couldn't possibly. Keep in mind, you guys do have three group rerolls currently. Uh, Lilith, you've been inspired. <laughs> I hope you guys all learned a valuable lesson about using up spell slots. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got Molotovs. I'm doing great. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um I need a I need a reboot, so I'm uh, gonna pat myself a little bit here. <laughs> just like <laughs> Just be like, it's gonna be okay, Lilith. You gotta make it through this. <laughs> I know I'm gonna make it through this. It's just like this is <laughs> this has gone hey, longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> if you guys beat this, you could insta conquer the crab shack. Correct. Eleven and then to top it off a little bit more, mental inspiration. <laughs> I'm buffing. <laughs> hey, guess what? We're gonna see you another day. Yep, <laughs> that's my mental inspiration. Everyone's got a temporary HP of eleven. Enjoy it. Get that mantle boost. And we can move, and we yeah? we get to move. Everyone gets yes. to move right now. How far? Except for Kishano, because he's too question. far away. <laughs> 60 feet. Oh, 60 feet. I'm a loud person. There's no way he can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> okay, Mr. Dungeon Master, here's, right. here's character development for you. This desk is cover, right? Yes. <gasps> All right, there you go. I'm behind. I'm so cover. proud of you. <laughs> I'm in a skeleton suit. I'm covered, um, but yes, we we run in and crouch down behind the desk. Corpus I don't Shano, know what to say. Hand, runs right up to the the enemy to get ready to stomp. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm more expendable than ever. <laughs> Life is meaningless, even more so. <laughs> uh, all right. So, that is Lilith's turn. The Mind Flayer advances on Vikala Enna and lashes out at him with his tentacles.
He hits Vakala Enna. Vakala Enna takes 14 psychic damage. And he needs to make an intelligent saving throw. To see if he is stunned. He nat 20s. So what happens is you see the tentacles hit Vakala Enna and you see him start to like kind of lose himself a little bit from the stunning effect of the tentacles. And then like lightning, he reaches into his belt, pulls out another quill and jabs himself in the arm to recover from the stun. <laughs> oh, so this isn't like a magic thing. He's not like a blood hunter or some shit. This is just him stabbing himself. This is him just focus. making sure that he doesn't lose his mind so he can't protect these kids. This is, this is a major pain uh, reference. Yeah. <laughs> he says, is that all you have, beast? And the mind flayer kind of cocks its head curiously at him. <laughs> Norbog. Uh, having seen somebody who I consider my friend, even though he doesn't remember that we're friends, just... <laughs> Get attacked and then stab himself. Uh, I use my 40 feet of movement plus my uh, 30 feet of barbarian misty step to get. Oh my gosh, I can't go through all this. There we go. I can get within striking distance of him and flank the mind flare. Uh, okay. And I'm gonna hit him twice unless I have. No, I already did surprise attack. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna hit him twice. First one, 18 to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. And 14 plus 8 plus 3. Oh, you hit this mind flare hard. Tentacles are flailing. Purplish blood is oozing from its bulbous head as small thorns from the thicket are still sticking out. Still up? Still up. Okay, I hit him again. 17? 17 is another hit. Uh, 8 plus 4 plus 3. <laughs> All right. Uh, he okay. is heavily beaten. Uh, he, his eyes are wide, and what you assume is surprise. It's difficult to tell the way the faces are structured. Uh, and uh, it seems quite upset at you. And then both intellect devourers turn to you. Mark. Of course they do. This is great. I'm now uh, as smart as Lilith, too. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wait, new Lilith or old Lilith? <laughs> new Lilith. <laughs> Zorbog was smarter than you. She's now we're equally smart. <laughs> First one comes in with Try to eat your brain. Give you uh, intelligence saving throw. <laughs> are we getting advantage on these? Or is that just Yes. Okay. Good, because that was an eight, so I get advantage okay. on that? Yes, please. Please. Fourteen? Okay, you are okay. not affected. <laughs> Cry. Claws come at you. 14 versus your AC. Nope. All right. This one runs away from Kashano. Total disregard from its life. Kashano, you get a opportunity attack. Please hit oh, it. Yeah, I do. Uh, does it have to be melee or can I shoot it? Uh, you, it, you know what? You can shoot it because it is technically a melee weapon that changes shapes for you. All right. <laughs> and I am a benevolent dungeon master. Well, thank you, sir. You missed anyways. God damn it. <laughs> um... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's a good use for a reroll unless everybody else tells me. Tries that. to eat Norbog's brains. <laughs> How's it gonna go, Norbog? You still have advantage. Oh, oh no. here's the thing though. Um it doesn't do that. It does okay. something different for its turn. <gasps> oh That's not even an ultimate, that's just an ability you gave me. It is an ability I gave you. So you institute the do-over. I did do-over. And because of the nature of this creature, it walks away from you, which you get another opportunity attack now. Oh, okay. Dope. Just uh, hit it this time. You missed it again. <laughs> I turned to Kashano and I said, I thought you were good at this. <laughs> I, I haven't got a lot of practice with this one. I would. I hit a bottle it, earlier. It was crazy. Oh, wait, no, I don't remember that. What about... <laughs> it's very confusing. That was the other guy. It like shifts back and forth, and its brain begins to bubble and writhe, 
Almost like it's confused by some kind of singularity. <laughs> so better. <laughs> cool. Um, so, mm, oh, well, first I'm going to move. Uh, boop, right here, it's like Shano. Um, mine flares are sensitive to light, right? Like, sunlight? Uh, maybe? Is that a thing? Nah. I think that's a thing. I mean, a little bit. Depends on where they live, I suppose. But they're not, like, burned by it so much. Alright, well. It's not like, but, it's not like vampire levels. Fuck but they you. don't, yeah, they uh, don't have it like a bi an ability, so it's not really a... Okay. Um, then... They see mostly with their brains. <laughs> I will do something else! <laughs> Which I, I I will do another thing. It works out because I was prepared to have to um, use a dash action and then just do a bonus action. So now I'm like trying to rethink my actions because of all, all right. little movement. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll just I'll start with a bonk. Okay, give him that bonk. Do the old bonk. That's a twenty-eight to hit. Uh, twenty-eight is a hit. Fourteen force damage. Ooh, this mind flare is barely holding on. Um, and then I will uh, fuck. Um, yeah, if I get, I'll do a guiding bolt. Actually, you know what? No, I won't. All right, because he's taking damage. So... You gotta wreck him. Can you use your powers of destruction? God, they're... never mind. That's not a good idea because they're per... they probably have a high wisdom. So yeah, I'll just do guiding bolt. Okay. I was gonna do toll the dead, but they probably get the wisdom save. The the you know the the mind stats they're probably pretty good at. Yeah. It's the other ones are not so great at. If I can <laughs> find my guiding ball. Okay, there we go. If, you, if you're going to fight a mind flare, challenge it to a fist fight. Uh, <laughs> so guiding bolt, 21 to hit. Okay, uh, yeah, that'll do it. It's a 22 radiant damage. Destroyed. Explodes in a burst of radiant light uh, as his lower half kind of slumps to the ground. Uh, yep. Is there any more enemies in this room? Uh, there are two intellect devourers that tried to kill Norbog. Oh, is those are the only two, though? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, then, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Vakala Anna turns to the intellect devourer beside Norbog, uh, opens his mouth, and lets loose a line of lightning against the creature. It fails its dexterity saving throw and takes... 12 lightning damage. It is still alive, but it is coursing with electricity. <laughs> and then they get... Oh, not this one. Alright, last one. Figures out what it's doing. Goes after Kut to attack Kishano again with the Mind Flayer no longer available to give it orders. It tries to eat Kishano's brain. Uh, a 15? Shano's fine. Claws. 16 versus AC. Uh, that is my AC. Meets it. Alright, uh, Lil, if you hear a scream of pain in the room to your right. Uh, I'm not responding because there was screaming on my right side. I was intentionally going to go down there anyways. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm thinking like, eh. Okay, they all went up there. It looks fine. It's going down over here. <laughs> They're like, they got this. <laughs> I'm going to go help other people. I mean, we Pretty have, much. Well, we not really. Guys. It's more like I'm looking around the room just to double check. I'm like, great. All right, I'm going to be in the turn order. I, <laughs> did you? I did not. I did not because it's not Lilith's turn yet. She's just doing oh, stuff. Uh, oh, ben, okay. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Sorry, I misunderstood Sorry. that whole You heard exchange. the scream because the intellect devourers were doing things on their turn. Uh, and you were closest to hear it. Just like imagine Lil just put her hands behind her, ha her 
behind her back and just kind of strolls the right way, going. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, this well, way. <laughs> Walk going... this way. Uh, yeah, it's thirty feet. Okay, so uh, I see them handling this, and Eldritch Blast has a ridiculous range. So uh, I will mo- make my way back out because they've dealt with everything, and Eldritch Blast one of each. Uh, the first one will be going for the one that's farthest, the one towards Norbog, and the second one will be the one that's closer as I'm running out. So here's okay. both those rolls. First one, second one. A 27 to hit for nine damage and a 25 to hit for six. Uh, those both hit. So you're going for number five? Uh, well, one of uh, the first one went to the one towards Norbog. The second one went for the one in front of Kshana. Oh, okay. As I was running out the door. Oh, I see. All yeah. Right. Uh, so the first one near Norbog explodes. Oh, thank God. At least someone in this party can aim. You're welcome. <laughs> Around the corner. Thank you. The one I just needs... killed the thing. <laughs> not you, honey. Not you. I'm ready here. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I just rewrote a little bit of time for you. Go, talk me. <laughs> uh, and uh, the one in front of Kashana is still barely hanging on. Its brain is all beaten to shit. It's got holes in it. Is that your turn, Ped? Oh, yeah, I'm just out here now. Okay. Kashano. Cool. Can I just stomp on this thing? <laughs> uh, you absolutely may. If it's looking pretty gross, I'm just going to... Um, <clears throat> so, I guess for that, just a strength throw? I don't know how to... Uh, unarmed, unarmed, unarmed strike. strike. It should be just unarmed strike on your sheet. Oh, really? Hey, look at that. Fancy. Yeah. Cool thing about uh, D&D Beyond is that they give you uh, an armed strike on every character sheet. Nice. You don't have to set it up. It's just there. <laughs> That's a 17 to stomp. That hits, and you do exactly enough do damage two to points. destroy it. Great. <laughs> uh, uh, you stomp on it, and your like, foot goes into the brain matter. It's like... <laughs> Great. Fantastic. <laughs> um, and I will uh, run around to the corner and smack a uh, pen on the bottom as I run by. <laughs> Say, go get him, champ! Uh, for inspiration. All right. Very bony right now. <laughs> yes, I smack Big Sexy on the bottom. <laughs> Clank. On the pelvis. Uh, go get him, champ! Lilith! You, like, accidentally hit your ring on it. <laughs> Ow! Fuck. Clack, clack. <laughs> what do you got, Lilith? The kids cheer as the brains are dead. Well, oh! Anna. Damn it, someone's in here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, there's <laughs> always going to be someone in there. <laughs> Can my you lie? parents are in here somewhere, too, apparently, and if you murder my parents, I will never forgive you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kidding. Uh, so this kid over here, I'm just going to yell at her, like, can you, can you just, like, back that ass up just a little bit? I need you to. <laughs> I need you to back it up right now. <laughs> Are you going to attempt to inspire her? No. Okay. <laughs> no inspiration. Only orders. I will not. <laughs> Absolutely right. not. Now, she will be back, uh, but she does take an opportunity claw from this guy. That's fine. We. Uh, it doesn't hit her. <laughs> All right, great. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> My star! <laughs> you can rebuild, it's fine. It's just material. As long as you don't get attached to anything, you'll, you will get uh, hurt. <laughs> 31 damage. These bitches better be dead. <laughs> Let's see how they do on their deck saves. This is a liquor well, store, right? Deck dead. Uh, you no. it. This one is, in fact, uh, Orgrim's Cookery. Uh, this sells various cooking pots and cookbooks. Well, it's now Cinder's. <laughs> Although a lot of the books are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one is definitely dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, number five is dead. 
Number six rolled a 17. Uh, oh, wait, let me double check to see if I have any ones. I do, I do. There's three ones. Okay, Never roll. Reroll. Re -roll. He brings it to 29. Or 28. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna make sure all these bitches are plus... good. Give me a second, give me a second. Plus. What the fuck? <laughs> I rolled two ones. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. So, it's so 28 plus how much? Five. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's minus three plus five, so it's just plus two. Okay. So it's it's 33. Okay. 33 is enough to kill it. <laughs> With a, no. Oh, wait. No, <laughs> Actually, no, it isn't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, my bad. I'm sorry to dangle that in front of you and take it away so horribly. <laughs> Lilith is wreathed in flames right now, both by her tiefling trade and just pure anger. <laughs> Look, occasionally the dungeon master's bad at math. It's singed, but it's very much alive. <laughs> uh, Norbog. Uh, I check in with the kill Anna. Can you get the kids to the mage tower? I will escort them there, and I will ignite anything that stands in our way. Thank you. You've been... Very brave. And could I have one of those? And I point to his quills. One of the quills. I'm sure. He ah! <laughs> yanks one out and hands it to you. I kind of like wipe it off on my tunic. And then I'm going to, I think all I can do is move. Uh, Your parents are ensuring they don't make it further into the living quarters. Thank you. Uh, and I run because I heard the word parents. So 40 gets me there. And 30 foot misty step. Get me there. Uh, you can also dash. dash. Ooh, I could dash. Could dash. Uh, um, and but I'm then to keep my rage. I'm going to take the quill he just gave me, and following his example, I stab it into my arms okay. because I have you, to take damage to keep raging. You take one damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm done because I can't do anything else. I don't think. Very well. You hear the sounds of your parents fighting down the hall. Yep, that's where I'm heading. All right. Jobetta. Uh, all right. I'm dashing. Uh, so that's 30. And then I can figure out. Yep, so I can get right beside Norbog. Um, and then. Can I see either of these? I could say you could probably see two. This one? Or, yeah, that one there. All right, well, why they both that's 60 two. feet, which happens to be the exact range of a uh, spiritual weapon. Give him a so bonk. <laughs> I'm going to fucking do a bonk. I will say, um, wait, you better, if you want to hold, oh, wait, never mind. It's a bonus action. You can't hold it anyways. Never mind. Doesn't say, quite I, I'll get to draw them out, but. Uh, doesn't hit. Yeah, doesn't hit. That's one. That's my turn. Okay. All right. Uh, this one charges after Lilith. It wants her brains. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget you have inspiration. You have inspiration and advantage. I know you can do this. <laughs> Shade. Come on, let's see that roll of intelligence. Does anyone, anyone want to donate some ultimates so I don't die today? <laughs> well, I guess not die, be stupid. <laughs> look, <Stunned>. look, <laughs> let's see, let's see what you get first. Yeah, and we have three rerolls. So look. yeah, you have three rerolls. There's no, <laughs> I actually have an idea for ultimate. That's <laughs> well, well, look, you roll, your, roll your dice. You only got one left Wait, for, what for dice? the moment. What dice? You got an intelligence saving throw. You have to do God an intelligence saving throw. Okay, you, rolling a dice. You have advantage. Okay, roll it again. The first one is good. You saved. That's you did. Oh, oh you so, did. It. You did it. <laughs> you did so it. proud. I'm so proud. Yay, I just Lilith wasted so a crit. And smart. I'm so <laughs> mad right now. <laughs> so and, mad. Lilith is pretty smart and mad. And then it scratches you for seven damage. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm burning you right now. <laughs> You've entered my personal space. <laughs> uh, so are we rebuking it, I imagine? No, because I have... Flames of Plegalofa. 
It's a one d four damage. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Please don't be a one. It might be enough. It's a three. Okay, cool. It's not enough. So mad. <laughs> you like stare at it and go a little bit, and it's like, eh, but it's still standing there, defying you. <laughs> So and mad. You're up. Lilith is screaming at a brain. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just uh, let's do um, one Eldritch Blast. We have we have a uh, an ultimate for Lilith, not Hellsinger. Oh. Oh shit! Go ahead and put a separation here. Oh the- damn! All right, Head Lilith has an ultimate. <laughs> you might have to carry those over to next year. We'll see. Uh, Pen, what do you got? <laughs> uh, I rolled a 15 for Eldritch Blast against that brain. Okay, you hit it. It dies. Okay, so that's three fours. Uh, and since I still have the other one, am I allowed to break up my Eldritch Blasts with movement since I yes. get two? Okay, then yeah, I will do that. See that Lilith's okay. And I'd be like, I saw that it tried to suck her brain. And I'm like, you did a good job. I'm going to go. Uh, and then I'll run down the hall 30 feet, which puts me right about here. I will say, if you and want to hold, if you want to hold a second, I can pull them out. I can't because I, if I don't use it, it just gets wasted. It's just so, like, uh, it's just like in my hand. Can't. So I don't, I can't hold my second Eldritch Blast, I assume. Uh, no. Dungeon. Okay. Yeah. Then I, I just initiated the attack. I run up and as Kishano's saying that I'm firing it because it that's just where we're at with it. So uh yeah, I'll hit the second one. Mind flare two. Right. What did you say I couldn't hear you over the Eldritch Black? <laughs> what um, You missed him. <laughs> oh, fifteen misses? Oh yeah. Well, uh, there you go. <laughs> with the, her shop having been liber Agrima runs up to you, Lilith, and says, thank you, Lady Singer, and heads to the uh, tower. Mm-hmm. Take a <laughs> pen, smash your brains. <laughs> it's just like holding so much rage in. <laughs> Kishano, you're up. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, so here's a, a, fun, a fun little spell that I haven't... Uh, Gotten to use in a while. I'm going to drop a gravity sinkhole uh, right, like, centered outside this... How do I ping it? Da-da-da-da-da. Right centered, like, outside of... Uh, there. Yes. Right there? Exactly. Okay. Gravity sinkhole. Uh, so they're going to have to do a... Con save, DC 17. All right. I'll drop the text in there for you. They do not have remarkable con. Uh, One of them saves. Okay. Do they take Uh, half damage on a failed save? Yes. On a failed save, uh, the creature takes 5d10 and is pulled in a straight line towards the center of the sphere, ending in the, the center, basically. Uh, successful, the creature takes half as much, but isn't pulled. So one of them gets okay. sucked straight into that spot. Oof. Um, ah! <laughs> and uh, as he does, Kishano runs up here uh, past Pen and takes a shot. Um, or no, I'm sorry. And uh, no, just fucking waits there. Okay. Hold still. Yeah. Did I not? Is there anyone that doesn't have inspiration yet? No, boss. You got this. But <laughs> that's a handy point. Thank you. Sorry I made fun of you. <laughs> you're not, but it's fine. Yeah, you're right. Lilith. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're almost there. After this, you can liberate the crowd check and have all your spell slots back. <laughs> uh, I, I did kill that slug, right? Or now it's still alive? Oh, uh, no, it's dead. Pen killed it on the way by. Ah, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Stole my kill. <laughs> there is no winning with you people. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay. Well, let's see what's what's going on over here. I think it's right over here. Move, move, move. What's this? <laughs> this is a mind flare Flair. that is trapped in a gravity well. There's two mind flares. There are two mind flares. Yes. I like how I'm moving my head to see like I'm adjusting. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> Okay, cool. So? <laughs> you don't know what I'm going to do. And no one's there yet, so it's great. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm predictable. <laughs> All right. Another fireball. 32, there is one, two, Neither of three, them save. <laughs> four, five, ones. Let me do some rerolls. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five. Roll. 27 plus. Plus 21. Okay, so that's 48. 48. That was such a good cool. feat for you to take. It is. Uh, one trapped in the gravity well is burnt to cinders. Uh, the other one is still alive. All right, I'm done. Norbog. Yeah, fuck this guy. He's blo he's between me and my parents. Uh, yep. So I do my mix of, you know, walking, barbarian, misty stuff, and regular walking. And as I go, I tap my uh, tattoo of thundering. Uh, uh, and I'm going to hit him. 13 to hit? No. Nope. Okay, well, let's try the other one. Okay. 17 to hit? Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have inspiration. Uh, what does the inspiration get me? I could use an inspiration on the first one. D10, I believe? Uh, yeah, let's roll a D10 then. If I'm not incorrect? Uh, uh, 17. They'll both be 17 then. All right. Yeah, it's D10. Uh, so they're both 17 to hit. I'm going to do the 8D8 thunder damage first. Uh, uh, it's getting rolled in 5 and a 3. Okay. Because I don't know uh, what to do. So 18 plus 7. Norbog, you come out of a misty step, you come out of a magical burst, and just with a swing, you splat this Mind Flayer's brains all over the Oh, you muted. Your dad lets out a cheer. <laughs> just like you taught me. I swear to do it, honey. <laughs> Is there anything else down here? Nothing. Great. Your parents held the line. Love them. Love you. Love you. They're, they're a little bit stuff attacking. We gotta go. They're a little bit scarred. They've got headaches. They're like, okay, we'll head to the tower. We'll see yeah, you there. Yeah, I'll check you later. Yep. Now to the crab shack. Liberated. I vote crab shack. I vote crab shack. Yeah. I vote crab shack for the next thing. All right. The crab shack, crab for, the, shack. for the auto liberation or for us to go to next? Yeah. For the auto liberation. Okay. Please yeah. auto liberate. Yes. The crab the bonus is auto liberated by a legion of the denizens of Yat Village Best Warriors, and everyone receives the benefits of a long rest. Woo Congratulations! Oh, wow, I get one rage back. Wow, I love not being a spellcaster. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Look, I, this would have been better if you'd like taken damage or lost intelligence. I, lo I lost one damage, and I did it to myself. <laughs> And I guess I am not losing gonna, intelligence to Kishano, thanks, uh, I guess. Gilbetta is going to use that long rest kind of thing also to uh, okay, re reshuffle her spells. Absolutely, you may do that. If you'd like to, mm. it's just like, a reg, just like a regular long rest. If you'd like to reshuffle spells or reattune to anything, go for it. Any chance it refills my staffs. <laughs> Wait, reattune anything? Sure. Yes, reattune. Yes. Oh, yeah. sweet. Cool. Then again, yeah, because I got some. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> then again. On the then other hand, I hope <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yeah, and while we have a minute, I'm going to. Okay, okay, Pen, do you have a healing potion? Mm. Do you have any healing potions? Mm -mm. 
I don't think that guy gave us any of his, or we drank them. I don't remember. No, I don't have any. Okay. I have that one you gave me, the mysterious black one that's like a uh, drain touch or yeah, whatever. Maybe a potion that's, of life drain. That's supposed to be a potion of life drain. Uh, well, then I'm going to give you a uh, potion of greater healing. Ooh. Uh, some... Also, Lilith, if I added your circlet of blasting that you got from Jarlaxle. Really? Um, and then Kashano, I will give you a potion of greater healing. Did I get it. it. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Wait, hold reload on. Reload your page. Will this... Am I undead? How does this work? Will this kill me? <laughs> you are currently no longer undead, and it does not kill you. Yeah, I cast General Repose, so I don't yeah. know if that... I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so I... Yeah, okay, so then yeah. Then no, do you have, have a soul. potion of greater healing. Out of a soul. Uh, Fuck, what's it called? Circlet of Blasting. I don't see it. In the inventory. I just put it in there, so you might have to reload or mine maybe hasn't updated yet. Mm -hmm. Basically gives you a scorching ray. I just love that the fucking description on this on that thing I gave Penn says you think you mixed it right. <laughs> Let's hope. Alright. All I'm right. going to smack myself with bolstering magic so I get a plus three to everything. All right, <laughs> you're bolstered. D3 to last for 10 minutes. The fact that it lasts 10 minutes is nice. It's not super powerful, but 10 minutes is good. Okay, I do ha I have What's a this? question. Sure. So we're doing this kind of thing where you can, you can reattune to stuff. That's a thing. So if you can, if we are using this as an ability to reattune, can we during the long rest... If not, that's okay. Uh, could we squeeze in a hero's feast if I did hero's feast? Uh, sure. Sweet. <laughs> so hero's feast. Because because I am a kind dungeon master. You are super kind. <laughs> um, so that that's oh no, it didn't put the description in there. Never mind. Uh, so just write it down, everybody. Um, we stop for an hour. And eat. For twenty four <laughs> hours. <laughs> um, we can eat and run. It's fine. You get speed eating. Um, cured of all diseases and poisons, immune to poison and being frightened, all wisdom saving throws with advantage, and your hit point maximum increases by 2d10, which I'll roll. Hmm. She casts oh, hero oh, face. I, I didn't it makes, mean like, to roll it that many times. What, oh, wait, it's 19. <laughs> the first one was 19, so. The better berry? They're, they're, they're like best they're, berries. They're, um, they're, no, they're no, no, they're, they're like, they're like little, they're finger sandwiches. Oh, there you so go. you can like, so our max HP goes up by Finger 19. Finger sandwiches? What are we, yes. horses? Yes, and you get... Yeah, your max HP goes up by 19. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so immune to poison, frightened. Excellent. Uh, I have so, so many hit points for once in my life. <laughs> you guys have liberated another section. You've liberated two sections, thanks to the bonus from Yat Village. And high above the Avalon Knights Academy, amidst the chaos of the battle that is unfolding, as you guys gain grand ground from weird multidimensional beings and liches, Mother Brain peers through the portal at her new prize. Oh, darlings, I'll be there soon. Don't worry, my new little pets. <laughs> We're gonna take a break right there. <laughs> oh, did we with the crab shack being auto liberated? Did that also yep. add time to the? Uh, it on. did not. Okay. Crab shack is just a full rest. <laughs> we got you know was... two interdimensional meta characters slowing them down though. So oh yes, uh, I just wasn't sure how that worked. And uh, you know. You didn't have to fight the horrible thing I put in the Crab Shack, so that's also good. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> there is that. What was it? Also, Just there were a lot of people care. You know, there was a lot of NPCs people cared about in the Crab Shack, so I didn't know how that was going to shake oh, out. Good. It was like Kalazar yeah. and like Whistle Whip and oh, Black yeah. Cherry and Cookie. And <laughs> Before we go to break, can we uh, give everybody a quick rundown of what bonuses are currently? Uh, uh, available just the, the audience absolutely so you have liberated yat village you've gotten their full rest from cookies crab shack you can add your final 
You can add to the final resolution rolls by liberating either the training hall or the uh, dorms. You can get an auto special powerful ally summon from liberating the keep. You can get a permanent plus one to all attacks and to all ACs by liberating the blacksmith. Or if you liberate the stables, you can have a sudden outburst of damage going against everybody. Oh, and also if you liberate the shipyard, uh, you'll be given supplies and everybody will get a certain amount of healing. Okay. Roughly equivalent. To like a Wait, what's the outburst? What do you mean? The If we do the stables, all the animals will get loose and start fucking shit up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All the animals will start, like, if you go into a new place after the stables is liberated, everybody takes a certain amount of damage. It might straight up kill most of the thought devourers. Stampede. <laughs> That's a solid choice. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, I don't know, the keep is a solid choice, what, too, though. Also, I mean, students, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, currently, Ken has four ultimates. Uh, Jabetta <laughs> has uh, no ultimates. She used them all on the summon. Norbog yeah, has three know. ultimates. Uh, Hellsinger has one. Lilith has one. Kashano has one. Uh, you have three group rerolls, and Lucathor used his three for the summon, and I have one. Got Lenny. Okay. Just flying around. I love, <laughs> I love the idea of just Lenny grabbing onto a Nautiloid ship, just trying to claw at it. <laughs> He's climbing oh, inside, you making undead Nautiloid. Right. <laughs> All right. In fact, there should be more fire. Let me add that. <laughs> Here we go. We'll fire! see more after the break. <laughs> I'm playing Ludima Razorclaw, an anthro-feline wizard who plays a magical harp. Okay, but that's an elf. Hey kids, are you tired of those boring old standard miniatures? What? Where's that voice coming from? It's not important. You can't defeat epic foes with normal heroes. You need custom heroes. And you can get all the custom heroes you need any way you want them at Hero Forge. You hear that too, right? Yeah, what is that? Shut up, it's not important. What is important is that with the launch of Hero Forge 2.0 update, you have more customization options than ever. And now you can get them printed in full oh, color. It's just like I designed it. Just log into HeroForge.com anytime, anyplace, even on your phone. You can make your heroes whatever you want them to be. Dozens of fantasy species, thousands of items to mix and match. Let you create virtually any character you can imagine. An elephant man. Wow, look, frog. I made a giggle dog. They even have robots. A bald eagle riding a wolf carrying flamethrowers. So much freedom. You can have your minis printed in a wide variety of quality materials or download the STL file and print them at home. Oh, and did we mention that you can create custom images for your heroes and digital tokens for online games? Wow, wow those, those Hero Forge, Forge minis, minis sound so cool. great. You bet they are. Get your Hero Forge miniatures today. After all, you're going to need them for what comes next. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Get your Hero Forge minis today. You know what? There's probably a platform out there where we could pretty simply... There's got to be something open source for creating fighting games, right? We can make a Mercs of Mischief fighting game. Look, we got to come up with special moves. You can't just say it's a fighting game. Well, all the special moves are built in. We just have to rip off all of Watsi's IP. I, I picture that Grubhub in the Forgotten Realms is delivered by a literal grub. Gross. And, it, and when, you, when you close the door, it hops up on two legs and dashes away. Hooves hub. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's. I don't know what's better, the name or the silence that came oh, immediately after. I was thinking. Come up to your window. Eat. Can you imagine an Remember? army delivering Look. one like taco Look. to your door? I think Maybe. that the academy should corner the gig economy here. I think it's dimension it. door dash. Dimension door dash. <gasps> uh... Brayden, we can't hear you. I think you said, God damn it. That seems like a very Brayden. <laughs> now he's flailing about.
<laughs> Even though we still can't hear him. He's in big problem solving mode. <laughs> He's cussing out something. Like, man, that was so easy. I, that, I like when you, like, steal, like, a shitty truck from, like, some farm people. Like Fucking Vincent. every cop in the county comes after you guys. Yeah, <laughs> but Vincent, you, like, Vincent. break out of a hospital. It's just like, well, they went over the bridge. They're gone now. <laughs> I'm playing with a bunch of fucking ghosts, and nobody can complete this auction. I'm looking at a fucking empty auction screen. <laughs> this is all fucking Ubisoft's <laughs> fault. You fucking shit the bed so bad on a game that was mastered before the fucking Great Depression. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, God, I can't breathe. The code. It ain't over yet. I've played my. Silver Flame Ritual um, card, well, which places I mean, a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control. And, you're, and if I play it with the adamant cost, if at least three white mana was used to cast the spell, all of the creatures gain vigilance as well, giving my uh, token knight plus one plus one in vigilance, along with both of my Basari lieutenants and my youthful knight. I'm doing the Yu Gi Oh thing. I place into play my Silver Wing Squadron. A flying human knight. It has vigilance, so it does not need to tap to attack. When the Silverwing Squadron's power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures I control. Silverwing Squadron, whenever it attacks, create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance equal to the number of opponents I have. And that's you, Kaiba! Party pillows don't have to be weird. Uh, they don't. I, I know, I know. They can be very weird. That's why I said they don't have to be. Yeah, but I mean, if you're using a skeleton as a pillow, Skylar, yeah. what are you doing? It's a pill. It's a what? It's a why pile gotta... of bones. It's not a pillow. It's a friend. It is calcium at best. Ambush! Push! No, please! <laughs> Ambush! Push! Hey! Ah! Ah, what are you stop. doing? <laughs> you stop. Why don't I, have... I wear clothes? Hello, who would it's like really the hard the mozzarella stick? I found them on the table. Best oh. wooden plank, you idiot. This mozzarella stick is good for you. <laughs> oh, I touched, let me, let me touch your face. <laughs> Caress me, sir. I'm trying to, but your face is too far. I spilled bodies everywhere but i do know the solution there's a business called pens catering <laughs> feeding hell spawn and getting bodies gone Feeling <laughs> swole. okay i killed their healer or you good puppy good puppy <laughs> oh yes. you need to you need to ride this out to its final uh tragedy like guys i've been i've been talking to this dog for a while and he's got some good ideas we I have a technical yeah, cause... question. How short is that t-shirt? It's a crop top. Oh, guy. <laughs> you! <laughs> it's a crop top. I'm not, it's not lewd. I'm sorry my midriff is there. Don't shame me. Are you a fucking roller derby chick in 1960s California? Why do you have a crop top? Or alternatively, are you a volleyball dude in 1980s California?
All right, adventurers, you got a short rest. Our adventurers got a long rest. But before we hop back into the finale of this season, let's take a moment to speak with our players for the last time of 2021. Fuck. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I'm a very lucky dungeon master, because for the past year, I have played with all these incredible people here. And what an adventure we've had. I wouldn't change anything for the world. I want them all to tell you about cool things to do on the internet. And we're going to start with uh, Gilbetta today. We're going to do a reverse order of how I introduced everyone. Wow, crazy. <laughs> Normally, I'm like, hey, I got a YouTube channel and stuff, which I do, and it's okay. Uh, but I have, I have a serious question today. Are you... Wait, hold on. Something's not... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Please hold. Please hold. Something, something's, something just isn't right. It is like I just feel like you know I just feel like I have to really like do the are you a bad bitch <laughs> because let me tell you if you're a bad bitch then you need to get your own canon bad bitch t-shirt coming soon to my Etsy nerd narrative crafts I haven't opened the shop yet because uh, I wanted to do this reveal first. Uh, so if you're a bad bitch, let me tell you, you need this t-shirt. And I know you're a bad bitch. So bad bitch, nerd narrative crafts, Etsy store coming soon. I bought a cricket and I've lost my goddamn mind. Only on our channel would somebody <laughs> delay opening an Etsy store for a shit show reveal for <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why I was late to sitting down on the on the call because I was literally like in there fucking pressing the thing like like hurry the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> this shirt's real now. It's glitter. It's a pink shirt. It's glitter. It's got sparkles. This is actually Pitt Sky's shirt uh, that I'm wearing right now. I, uh, I'm gonna send it to him. I just I needed to. <laughs> do the reveal so all right <laughs> thank you and we look forward to that check out nerd narratives etsy store you could be a bad bitch in your own right uh <laughs> norbog tell us about what you're doing hey guys i'm arcady i don't know how i'm expected to follow that because i don't have a reveal <laughs> so all i can say is just follow me on, on my twitter which is arcady kashka and you can find me doing cool things like making things and painting things i got a whole bunch of minis from uh steam uh that i'm gonna be painting up soon uh because they sent me stuff from the kickstarter which unfortunately is over so i can't even promote it but like yay uh but yeah go hang out on my twitter and watch me do things like that do it thank you so much <laughs> i appreciate it uh Kishano, tell us what would you got going on oh hi i'm jonathan also known as the mad maker play Kishano, also the producer here and uh, I have an Etsy store that's already available where I 3D print things, such as this lovely uh, mug can holder. This is the Druid model. You'll see that Puck has the uh, the dwarf. Uh, there's the necromancer down there with Pen, the elf with Norbog. We've got one of the uh, grum the golem, the stone golems over there. Ooh, and a, a premium paint job on the. Uh, demon blooded uh model there with lilith so great you know stuff that you can get on the etsy store i maybe if you get expedited shipping you can still get it by the holidays but i recently got a uh airbrush so i'm gonna be doing some like special super fancy hand painted ones you know one-offs releasing those so make sure you're following that um and also, uh, I'm going to be starting to kind of do stuff on my own YouTube channel. Um, some maker type stuff, 3D printing, tabletop, that sort of thing. Also, I might start streaming some VR stuff. I don't know. We'll see. I got a quest um, and I've been having some fun in there playing like Space Ultimate Frisbee and shit. So <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that goes. Yeah, check out uh, Mad Maker Prince. You can find all that stuff in my link tree. Look forward to some VR action. Next up, we got Lilith. Lilith, what you got going on? I play games. 
<laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> you like my personality here? You can follow me on YouTube. I'm less than 20 subs away if you want to help me hit that 1K subs. Not sure what it means or it makes a difference in my life, but hey, it's going to make me feel good. <laughs> If you, and you're if gonna you spend do more it, time with me. I'll Who get the good brain juices. That? <laughs> that's serotonin. <laughs> oh. I'm playing three out of ten. It's a funny visual novel game right now. I'm about to end it, and then I'm gonna probably do genocide. Like in the game, oh. right? Like, <laughs> no, <laughs> <not like this>. <laughs> <laughs> That Jeez. is for you to find out. <laughs> okay. Join my, join my YouTube to see. <laughs> All right. So help uh, Lilith Dipper Dog 15 get the good brain juices. All right. Ben, what do you got going on? Oh, man. I don't know. Maybe stuff over at Noctum Sky on YouTube and Twitter. Apparently, if you look on Twitter, apparently I'm like the best gift giver at the moment as far as uh, Arcady or Arcady Koshka is concerned. So, uh, but yeah, check me out on Twitter. I don't do anything there usually, but occasionally I'll just kind of say stuff. So like, there's that. Uh, if you want to check me out on YouTube, though, that's where that's I post more often. Played all the way through Inscription. Uh, a lot of, if it's a game and it's got necromancy in it, go comment it on one of my videos because I want to play it. I try to play through all of them, you know. Uh, so go let me know. Go check me out there. And other than that, I'm here with these wonderful people the rest of the time. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Hey, people want to see you cook some more. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, so man, get out the fire extinguisher. Uh, oh, I guess I should save some stuff because this is season finale. Why not? Uh, all right. So first of all, thanks to Hero Forge. Hero Forge supports us, and you should support them too. They're great. Go to Hero Forge right now. Do it. Buy Hero Forge. <laughs> Remember, they do gift cards. Gift cards are a great <laughs> holiday do, gift. It makes a great gift. Everybody can make their own special character. It's awesome. Hero Forge. Did you get your DM us. a gift? Uh, did you can you? make minis into ornaments. We're, we the tend to be very lowly people, lonely people, and we will appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, also, I guess you can follow me on Twitter too if you like pictures of my cat and weird hot takes about like pop culture shit. Puckin Dungeon Master, Puckin DM. Uh, you can find me in there. Also, I'm making videos of my own now. Uh, Puckin Talk is the name of my channel. You can go find videos about rants if you like to hear me rant on trash bin this channel is just that but also occasionally i'll thoughtfully talk about dungeons and dragons stuff today i talked about how to make boss encounters interesting uh because i also often hear people complaining oh my boss encounter i started it up and then my players came in and beat the shit out of my dungeon my dungeon boss in five seconds and it was anticlimactic and i'm like god that's never happened to me before what a weird thing <laughs> So you can check that out. Puck and Talk is the name of the channel on YouTube. Um, I'm going to talk about Spider-Man next week. Uh, or I guess this week because it's Sunday. <laughs> Anyways, back into it. Folks, I hit the wrong button. This is the right button. The Academy's under attack, but our party is undaunted. They have liberated Yat Village. They have liberated the Crab Shack. And they have kicked these invading mind flayers right in their tentacly behinds. And now, where are they going to go next? Uh, I'd like to use three ultimates. Oh. Okay. Uh, um. Yeah, as we're figuring this out, I direct my thoughts to uh, a plane outside of our own in okay. Pandemonium, I believe. And uh, say... You're the god of combat. Get down here and show me if you're worth my time anymore. And I would like to get Hrugrek, the bugbear god of violence, combat, and war, to see if he'd actually, you know, finally fucking help me and see if he's worth making an ally out of. All right. I don't know how you're going to settle that one, but you oh. said we could summon gods. <laughs> you... You don't know how I'm going to settle it? Let me tell you. Let me tell you how I'm going to settle it. Also, I'm out of alts. If anybody would like you to you know, drop me or other people more alts to do cool things, like summon alts. gods onto the battlefield. Yep. 
the the earth shakes and from the depths of the nine hells Hergek bursts forth into the sky and with his decapitating axe comes down on one of the besieged Mind Flayer ships and cleaves the Elder Brain out of it, returning to the Hells with it as a prize. Did you guys see that? I like it. <laughs> this has gone straight to Norbog's. <laughs> this has gone straight to Norbog's ego because she just managed to like kill one bear god, summon another. I gotta go for the hat trick now. I gotta get Grunkle oh. in here somehow. Fuck. <laughs> Reality blinked for a second. <laughs> Reality right there, blinked no for a second. I, I accidentally destroyed the thing. <laughs> That's cool. You can leave all the ships off the map. I mean, no, I this almost looks deleted good. the entire academy. Yeah, the, oh, the, the academy is what disappears. <laughs> oh, geez. Hang on. Uh, doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, you know right. what the fuck that thing is? <laughs> Pointing out, I, I would also like to say that canonically, Lucathor's ship looks uh, approximately like one of the Star Fox uh, fighters, but like made out of scrap. <laughs> like an R wing? <laughs> yeah, but like made out of scrap. Awesome. Yeah, he's just flying around it, giving it shit and causing it a ton of trouble. <laughs> As you do. Uh, and further extending things. It's got various shots in it. It's also on fire now. <laughs> the oh, yeah. one that was perceived by Lenny was finished off by Hergek. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lenny well, wrote it down. Like, like uh, yeah. Dr. Angel. Yeah. Ooh. We'll say <laughs> Lenny's still lurking around. He's still got to do that redo on a, on a NPC death or yeah. character death. Well, that looks like the way to go. We should be taking these out. And I point out at the last two ships, the one that is on fire that Lilith and I brought. <laughs> and Gilbetta says, yes, but our students are in danger. Uh, we need to also f go to the keep. How many people did we free? Because there were a lot of people that came to help us do the um, crab shack. And we just liberated the crab shack. So our numbers have to be like relatively rallied, correct? Uh, people have gone back to the mage tower for safety. Yeah, we yeah. don't need them to stab us in the back if they get controlled. <laughs> like, uh, this yeah. is... They're probably also like taking injuries as, they're, as they yeah. want us to. The problem is with these enemies is the longer you fight them, the more people you lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pen, they're going to get away in their fireball. Let's not have casualties. <laughs> well, yeah. that would be if we stayed down here. Which isn't doing so great for me. I'll be more yeah. effective outside same and i hold the staff of power up so uh, our, we're gonna go after the ant hill the we gotta free up the keep i agree yeah, yeah. students i mean like we just left calenport to care about our mm -hmm. students yep we are the professionals here if we don't have if we don't keep our students safe we will lose all face and we might as well burn the keep down ourselves then yep and we are protecting the students we're just doing it differently we can split right. up then but, you go do that. Yeah. Okay. But I have to go to the keep. Do yeah, what you have to do. Them. You see a blast what you need of to lightning do. shoot out of the uh, training hall. And you hear uh, the other crash <laughs> out. Of, Holy shit! <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's made it like way longer than I thought he would. Yeah. Right. I yeah. God, I almost forgot funny. this one was naked. Uh, I assume that we're like <laughs> leaving completely. this place and like God, walking just and talking. Hands. All right, so you guys are heading to the Academy Keep. Uh, Lilith and Penn, how are you getting up to this burning ship? We fly. Uh, yeah, we, we, we both have yeah. methods to fly, so. Okay. We're team fly. <laughs> so, uh, on the way in, you're going to be shot at four times. Woof. All Is right. there a way we can do this? No. <laughs> Hold on. Do you also got inspiration? No, you don't. No, you don't, because I... Oh, shit, I, <laughs> I got rid of it. <laughs> what? Never mind, I guess wow. we will be shot at. Never well, mind, we'll I just... guess we will. Just pen... be a great distraction, okay, buddy? <laughs> what? That's All right. a dick. No, I won't do Two for I mean... pen. Two six? Yeah, that hits. 
And 24. Yes, that hits. For 11, your big sexy <laughs> armor is shed as these lancing bolts come at you and tear apart the bones uh, sticking to your body. The bones magically fly into your bag after the, as they fall off you. Oh, you did good, bud. Thank you. I will protect you again soon, I promise. I'm sorry, I, too. I, it's okay. <laughs> you rest. And I close the bag. If we could take him to the black. 14 after for this. Lilith. Dodge. T 26 for Lilith. <laughs> One for flinching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pan and Lilith up on the ship. Uh, uh, we're going to maintain the same initiative order. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch has been giving fits lately. All right. We're back. Fits. All right. So Lilith and Pen are on board the Nautiloid ship doing battle with the Mind Flayers. Oh, yeah. Whoever hit me is getting hellish rebuke. Fuck him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> an Oaken Bolter did, so it rather doesn't have any feelings about it. But <laughs> Wait. A who? What one? Oh, an Oaken Bolter. A little, little crossbow with wheels that we fought in It's Strahd's an animated castle. ballista. Very large. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Well, then I guess it's going to stop shooting at us. And... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how it works. It's what is the dex save? Uh, okay, well, it failed its dex save. What's its damage? Uh, where is it? I know I have it around here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Okay, boom. All right, seventeen, 17. fire damage. Yeah. Uh, it's seared by 17 fire damage, and as you guys land, they all, like, turn and screech and point at you. <laughs> as the two mind flayers on the deck look at you guys. Uh, Norbog! Oh, what? Are we doing things? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth. He's, he's still just active. gonna go back and forth. But oh, the initiative music. is still active? Oh, right. Sorry. Let me put cool. What down. do I, what, what's in here? Uh, so, you guys come into the Avalon Knights Academy Keep. Uh, you enter the entrance area, you can hear fighting happening in the chambers to your left. And you can uh, see Mind Flayers advancing on Spoonie in the main hall. Uh, I'll go left. Where's the door? Can I get right, right, in that right door? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, how far can I get? That's 10 feet. Oh, it just looks like there's an inner like devourer. All right, I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna rage. Okay. Uh, These little sprites are so cute. Roll my D8. <laughs> That's a six, so I get, till my rage ends, I'm surrounded by multicolored protective lights. I gain a plus one to my AC, and while within 10 feet of me, my allies also gain the same bonus. So, me and whoever is 10 feet around me, plus one to AC. As I write Excellent. that down to not forget. Uh, and I'm gonna hit this intellect devourer with my thicket. Uh, Twelve? That was a crit fail. Uh, no, mm. you just uh, miss it. But you do have got inspiration. Three ultimates for Jilbetta, as well as a uh, promise to buy that shirt as soon as it's open. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> do I have inspiration? Uh, Kishano gave it to you. Okay. If you didn't spend it, yeah. D10. Yeah. yeah. Nine. That brings it up to a 21. That is a hit. Cool. Uh, and I hit him for eight plus six plus three. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It is barely hanging on, but it is still alive. I hit him again. 13. It looks out a squeak as you hammer it hard. And uh, with a 13, it is hit again. Just and, barely, but you got it. Uh, 11 plus 6 plus 3. Splat. Completely destroyed. Great. Students come pouring out, thanking you so much. I am pretty great. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use the rest of my movement to walk you. towards that door. Okay. You walk towards that door, uh, and you are met by an intellect devourer attacking a child. Oh. Uh... On its turn, attempts to devour its brain. And with a 14, the child succeeds its save and does oh not get its brain devoured. Oh my gosh. Great! I'm Isn't panicking because cool? I can't do anything now. But that wait. All, <laughs> all these kids have 
better intelligence saving throws a base D20. Guys usually do. Uh, it does take damage from the claws as uh, the, the uh, small goblin uh, student cries out as she is raked with claws for five slashing damage. I'm going to shout back to Gilbetta and Kashano too since I can see that they, and they can't, that there's some students back here. And an orc is attacked. See if it's mind five slashing damage as well. Uh, so Sedutens is getting attacked. Lilith, you're on the deck of this ship. We're no, we're not. The ground, apparently. That's too close. <laughs> Why would I want to get close to creatures when I have ranged spells? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And in the center of it all? Fuck no, I'm not that crazy. I'm a little bit Reposition well. yourself where you would like to be, the both of you. <laughs> I'll be next to Lilith wherever she is. But yeah, I presume we're like off the ship a little bit here. Okay. I like the fight. Well, hold on, hold on. They're definitely, I'm on distance. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That's the... Nope, still too close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, if they have any like 60 feet range spells, it's a problem. <laughs> You have to be able to fireball. Yeah, isn't fireball? What is fireball, actually? Oh, wow, 150 feet! Exactly! We don't have to be so close. If Let's take advantage of that. A mile away! Yes! We can be safe! Shit, oh, let's hey, you take see that over the there? <sighs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Puck, you're out of focus. Oh, no, not again. Let me adjust that. Yeah, hold on. I really want to to be like, oh, how will I pay attention during all this? <laughs> all right. Yeah. So what are you doing, love? Um. Okay. Uh, fireball. <laughs> um, further fireball. More fireball. It's dead center. Gonna catch them all. <laughs> Blow fireball, please. <laughs> Gotta burn them all. Gotta burn them all. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, too late now. It's a fireball. I just announced it. Okay. Where are you centering this fireball? Where it can hit all of them. Okay. There's a, another <laughs> ultimate for Gilbetta um, and a request to make a version that says Bad Bastard. <laughs> Done. <laughs> all right. Deck saves. Oh, that's a lot of good deck saves. Those fuckers. Uh, please add a five. So this is going to be a 42. Okay. All right. So number five takes 42 damage. Uh. And number six. Our, uh, number six is fine. Oaken Bolter one takes 42 damage. All right, and everybody else takes 21. Kishano, it's your turn. Oh, good. Um, Wait, Bardic Inspiration on pen. Okay. Like, all right, buddy. All right, buddy, you can do this. You can do this. <laughs> Is that the 1d10? Oh. Yeah. Cool. Put this back in the map. So. Yeah, you it's coming. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay. Um, I will. You said Spoonie's up there in trouble, right? Yep. Spoonie's up there with two mind flares advancing on him. Um, all right. I will. Uh, I will uh, run up into here as I'm running through, and I see Norbog through. Like, you got this. Refresh your uh, <laughs> your uh, inspiration there, and then um, I'll come up into here. And I mean, it worked pretty well last time, so I'll go ahead and throw the. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it at uh, fifth level. I'm gonna do gravity sinkhole at fifth level. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do it basically right between the two mine flares, but like 10 feet off the ground. So, all right. So like pull them up and ah, 
<laughs> pull them up and smash them together. Like, okay. Uh, it's a DC right. 17 constitution saving throw. Let's see how they do it. Uh, no. Not incredible constitution, these squishy boys. They're both uh, flung up into the air, in. basically making a nice floating target for Spoonie to hit with something. And they take 30 points of damage. Crush damage. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, pal. They guys don't do so well with, uh, you know, charm. <laughs> yeah, they're a little tricky. Should be able to shoot them now, though, right? Oh, yeah, I could twang them. <laughs> Something. Okay. Uh, so... Two lances coming at Lilith from the bolters. That's a critical hit for the first one for 27 piercing damage. Ow. Okay. And the second one is a 17. He's crapping out now. Oh, goodness. What's happening? Uh, 17 misses. All right. 17 is a miss. Oh, we got shuffled. I was going to say, where do I go? I don't know. We got shuffled. It must have reshuffled everything. I, I thought apologize. I went after Norbog, but... Yeah, I thought you did, too. And then we... I, You know what it was? I added new initiatives, and it shuffled the order, and I didn't notice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, I know Jalbetta goes almost last, and then I go last, if I'm correct. Yeah. If it's my... the same. I just know I'm, I'm going after right after Norbach. Yeah. Mm. So, my apologies, Jabetta. I'll give you two turns because I skipped you. Oh! oh. <laughs> you don't fucked up. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, so it all shuffled. Then we go to Norbog. Uh, cool. I'm gonna walk over to this my... intellect right. devourer and hit him with my thicket. Okay. Uh, give, him a, give him a hit. 24 to hit. 24. 24 is a good hit. A uh, 9 plus 10 plus 3. You destroy it. <laughs> Great. And then I'm going to use the rest of my walking action. Walk over to that one and hit him. It's like these 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 intellect devourers are randomized in such a way that sometimes Norblog will just straight up destroy yeah. them. <laughs> so that's a 24, which also will hit. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and... Uh, 10 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, cool. This one hangs on by a thread. <laughs> can I do anything to him? I don't think I can. Don't think I have any other bonus actions. Okay. Uh, Is... Nope. Nope. Don't think I can do anything. Okay. Unfortunately. I'd love to finish him off, but... Alright. Uh, next bolt comes for Pen. Who also got skipped in turn order if we went yes, through I will, all the way. I will, I will give you two as well, sir. Appreciate it. All right. 20? 20 will hit. 17 piercing damage? That'll, I'll take that. Next 12. one is a 12. 12 does not hit. All right. So you're okay there. Uh, this mind flare is trapped, so he doesn't go anywhere. Bolter... Takes two shots at Lilith. 14. 11. How they have so much reach? Holy shit. They're ranged weapons. They're ranged weapons. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. They're, they're like siege weapons, or um, like tower defense weapons, so they're made to shoot far. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what did uh, you okay. say it was? Uh, For YouTube, people 14. might have to go back to our channel page and find the new thing, because YouTube doesn't do it's... well when you stop and start the stream. Yeah, YouTube buggers up when we do that. Our, you know, sorry about that, guys. Technical difficulties today. Gosh. 11 doesn't hit. All right. Comcast. And, Send your and complaints to doesn't... Comcast. Yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> I imagine 14 also doesn't hit, Lilith. No. Okay. Mm -mm. So more bolts come sailing out at Lilith and disappear. You're gonna have to try harder than that. Jabetta. 
Give me, yes! give me what you would have done on your turns had I given him to you. Well, I was going to go <laughs> smack that intellect of ours of hurting the child, but... Look, there's still another one you can smack. It is over here still. There's more. Well, I know, but ones. I don't have the I don't have the movement and the range to eh. do both. Um, okay, I, well, I can bonk that one with spiritual yeah. weapon. I've got the range for that. All right. Uh, Fourteen uh, to hit. Bonked. Eighteen force damage. All right, dead. God, you're dealing a lot of damage to that spiritual weapon. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I cast it at fifth level, so. Yeah. Um, so then, okay, so movement bonus. So that's my first turn. So for my action for my first turn, I will use my alts. My three, I'll, I have four alts. I'll use three of them. Okay. Um, oh, God, I have two great ideas, but I don't know which one to do. Um, all right. Jobetta, Jobetta is going to, she's like, he's worried about Pin uh, and Lilith out there fighting the ships um so she's gonna try to get them some air support okay uh so jobetta is jobetta says i need air support we need help uh and she digs down deep inside uh and she summons um the help of um heart wing estate uh and alina halicanter um, and she summons the lady that trains Pegasi, who has a bunch of fucking Pegasi and shit, where we got our Pegasi, and she tr- she summons a Pegasi army uh, of hot shirtless men, I guess, um, to come and help Lilith and Pen and give them air support. So, outside, high in the sky, while bolts, deadly bolts are shot at Pen and Lilith, you see something shining on the horizon. And then you see multiple glinting objects moving towards the Avalon Knights Academy. And as the light fades, you can see the beating of wings as a legion of handsome men with shirtless, oiled up chests. No, actually, wait. Wearing can they, lances. Can they all be wearing bad bitch crop tops? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you need. <laughs> and they come charging in. Hammering the mind flayers and the oaken bolters on the decks of the uh, nautiloid ships with lance attacks. Just hammering them. Just, just hammer, Pounding jackhammering them. them. <laughs> get, get those, uh, those lances out and just. God, this is hard because I have so many good things to summon, and I, it's <laughs> tough to make these choices. Uh, dispersing the forces on the defending deck of the ship. So, right. Jobetta. Okay. So that's one of my turns. You still got more. You got still still more to do. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, do I hear? Can I hear some stuff coming from like this way? Like, is there fighting? Oh yeah. There's there's, hap- right, there's right. shit happening all over the place. Okay. That's. What I need to know. So I'm gonna go here. Oh. Fuck! I can't see anything. So yeah, I guess I'll just um, I'll just use a dash. Um, so that I can run in here. Um, get in so, there. So that I can see. So I can get to like here. All right. Um, and then I will bonus action spiritual weapon. Okay. I was at 18 to hit. All right. 18 is a hit. That's 11 force damage. And I'll do it to this one. Yes. All right. 11 force damage. This one's still very healthy. This seems to be a robust, bigger brain than the rest of them for some reason. <laughs> um, yeah, so Jobetta, like, Jobetta fucking runs past Norbog, bonks that one with a spiritual weapon, stops to summon a bunch of Pegasi, and then just fucking sprints past Norbog, and then goes in there to bonk another one. You're doing great, sweetie! <laughs> <laughs> 
So about it's like there's two more in here. <laughs> Y'all be there in a second. I think. Hold on, I gotta move the turn tracker. Okay, yeah, there's two more in here. <laughs> All right, Pen. Howdy, partner. Um, will you allow me to utilize one of my turns? Uh, and I'll say, since I get to do the two, can I use one of them to go ahead and pull Lilith and I into the inside of this ship? Because that's where we're trying to get to. Absolutely, you may. Cool. And oh, then... wrong, wrong deck. I went to the wrong deck and cleared off the wrong things. God damn me. <laughs> God damn me. Okay, there we go. These are delorted, and we are centered here. All right. So, so are you are, attempting to use an ultimate to big dimension door into a space you cannot see? Uh, wait, whoa, what? Hold up. Uh, I'm just, we're just trying to get in the ship. Is this not like an open thing? Do we have to get in? I like, mean, you can. It's like on fire and shit. It doesn't look really hospitable. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, so there's not a door, <laughs> is what you're telling me. There's not a door. There's a hole. There's a hole that's on fire. <laughs> it's the hole that we created. <laughs> there's a burning <laughs> ring of fire, and <laughs> that's such. All right. Better yet, I'll touch when we touch down on the deck. Uh, I'm not gonna dimension door. I don't wanna. I don't I wanna risk that. I can be shield. I wanna hug you. Uh, <laughs> I've got her with me, and I'm like, I look up and I'm like, keep me safe for a second in case this doesn't work. And I will burn an ultimate to put my hands down onto this organism ship and like attempt to commandeer it with my brain. However, okay. I need to do that with awakened mind. Okay. I am going to veto your ultimate uh. and use my ultimate. Chat, you heard that bullshit, right? Give me more. I'm going to veto <laughs> your ultimate with my ultimate. Oh, <laughs> he can have his ultimate. Uh, but you see, the thing about that is I'm the dungeon master. Damn it. <laughs> Cursed God. <laughs> and I need to... Puck saying that. The thing about <laughs> that is I'm the dungeon master. <laughs> I need you, Pen, to I'm tell me shirt. something completely honestly. Oh, no. Did oh, you yeah. remember... When Jarlaxle gave you a pin with a skull on it? Yeah. Did you wear that pin? Yeah. You are stunned. <laughs> <laughs> and immobilized completely. Hello. As the pin's magic takes hold. The pen's magic took over pen's magic and now pen is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Can he talk? Can I talk? Yeah. Like, you cannot even... do anything. I imagine I face plant. And no, I'll catch you, you. You, are, you just stay there with your hands on the deck of the ship. Uh, connected to the ship. Connected? Yes. Mentally. Oh. And then a voice whispers in your ear pen. Tell it to go to the Underdark. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> a wisdom saving throw? Did you do it with advantage? Yeah, did you do have and advantage? And you have bardic inspiration. Great! And I love to have you first. <laughs> I rolled a 24! <laughs> <laughs> Pen's angry. He trusted the jocks a little bit. I trusted that hot man. I'm taking... Oh, I never equipped the crown, thank God. Not touching anything that he <laughs> right. To your plan, Puck. <laughs> so. That is Penn's turn. <laughs> Exciting. And I promised I'd give him two. Pen, what would you like to do with your second turn? As much as I want to take the second one, I did ask if you would allow me to use one of them to get Lilith and I down here. So okay, unless you're just counting true. that as my movement, but I, I mean, it is. Can. You guys did go a long way. <laughs> okay, then yeah. So I will find out next turn, I guess. Lilith, Pen is just not moving on the deck now. Uh, I guess I need to do an investigation to see what's up or something. Well, or you can perception. certainly do that on your turn. But first, we have to go back no. to Kishano. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know now. No, doing it now. <laughs> and back okay. with Kishano. 
Uh, I have one uh, ultimate yeah, available. Right? You do currently have one ultimate available, Kashana. Awesome. Um, mind flares. Right. Okay. Let's try this. Um, and Shano rubs his hands together and then spreads them out and like Doctor Strange style, every iteration of Kashano surrounds <laughs> and they all just start thinking at these things. Oh my God. So oh, like a super powered <laughs> dissonant whisper and you're getting every version. So there's like, oh, come on guys. I think we can just find a deal for all this. Well, oh, fuck a deal. I'm fucking slaying them. I am a God. You will all sit the fuck down and listen to me. And it's, it's, yeah. All right, so Kishano. just like a stream of Kashano consciousness from mm. multiple dimensions is just poured into these dudes, causing their heads to blow. <laughs> uh, these mind flares can't handle it. <laughs> and they're down. Woo! Wow. All back in. <laughs> yeah, pop back in. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Uh, we might have been pushing it a bit. Okay. I feel like I just so, snorted something. Uh, it was going to be their turns, but they're dead. Uh, <laughs> 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 Lilith. Woo! Back to you. Yeah. Pen. Pen. Pen is not. <laughs> On your face. <laughs> Just sitting there. <laughs> he is not responding at all. Can he move his oh. eyeballs or anything like that? His eyes are wide. No. He can't even blink? Do you want to put some eye drops in? I'm kidding. <laughs> he can only blink. But he can't move his eyes around or anything. Nothing. Damn. <laughs> what the hell? Why? Um... Do I have anything that can help me? <laughs> I do not. Right? I do not. I'm just I'm just the thing that murders things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the the ultimate? If mean, I fail, Lilith I might have, have to use one. ultimate. <laughs> yeah, if I fail, I'll have to use it. Uh, what do I need to do to uh, check what's going on with pen to like remove the... What do I need to do to, to, to know that it's the pen's fault? Not do a, character pen, but the thing pen. Do <laughs> oh an arcana check, and it is a pin. Pin it's pen. Really barreling okay. toward him is confu uh, confusion. Okay, arcana check. All right. <sighs> Let's go. 22. 22. He is being held in place by magic by something he is wearing. I ripped that shit out. <laughs> rip all his clothes off? <laughs> ah! <laughs> that phone's just okay. too hot anyways. There's fire everywhere. <laughs> As you move for the pin... Mage hand! <laughs> As you move for the pin... Not a rapier becomes visible <laughs> and stabs you for 10 damage. As slowly back into the visual spectrum, Jarlaxle reappears. <laughs> Never trust a big butt in a smile. I would not do that if I were you. You fucking bastard. <laughs> I'm taking this ship home. If we can find agreement on this, there's no more need for bloodshed. We made an agreement earlier. Yeah, but I was lying then. Of course you were. Of course. Well, then, just so you know, 
I don't like to take orders from anyone. In fact, I'm the one that gives the orders to Laxel, and I order you to help and leave the ship here. And I'm going to use my ultimate and cast Gaius on him. <laughs> Fuck you! I already used mine. <laughs> How terrible. All right. Well, I guess he has to help you now. Hen, you are released. <laughs> Doesn't Gaius last for like 30 days, too? <laughs> uh, let's or until see. he, he completes the task? Yeah, he is now my bitch for a month. <laughs> Feels good to be queen. It's okay. <laughs> We did it, everybody. We hit, we hit peak Lilith. Yeah. <laughs> There's fucking sexy shirtless men in the sky on Pegasi. Lilith has her own personal Jalaxle. <laughs> yeah. Swan you, though. <laughs> Rain and man. If you disobey me, shit's gonna hurt real hard for you. <laughs> All right. I mean, that's it. Lilith controls Jalaxle. <laughs> Meanwhile... Back inside. Uh, intellect devourers are fighting. <laughs> Particularly this one right here that's trying to kill a child. Oh, that's too far. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Attacking the kids, trying to eat their brains. Uh, this kid say, man, the NPCs haven't failed a roll since Yeebie. <laughs> look, I, we, we, look, all I'm going to say is we recruit smart students. I didn't give them bonuses. I gave them a baseline 10 and then misses the claw attack. <laughs> They're clever. Darlaxel turns to you, Lilith and Penn, and says, you may want to take off the circlet as well. It also has paralyzing enchantment on it. Do you think I'm dumb enough to try to put that thing on? I did, yes. <laughs> I should stab you after this. Mm, perhaps you will. Not perhaps. The now be useful to me. Is free to be moved. I cleared the command deck long ago. I was just waiting for the last of the Mind Flayers to be removed from the decks before transporting it to the Underdark. I couldn't find an effective way to do so, so I wished to use Hen's Mind Link to command it to go home. Hmm. Well, you messed with the wrong party, friend. Evidently so. I am no longer in control of my own actions. Yet again. <laughs> this really has been quite a rough week for me. Oh, you just suck. <laughs> Alright. Don't ever underestimate me again, bitch. <laughs> That's Charlaxle's turn. <laughs> Norbok. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna walk through this room so I can see what I'm doing. Alright, that's ten yeah. feet. Uh, Alright, let me get a look at what's in this room. Alright, I can walk up and hit that one. So I'm gonna walk up and hit that one. Uh, I also want to super hit it, and I have bolstering magic going, so I'm going to use one of the uh, feats of my feet and take a minus five to my attack roll, but if I hit it, I get a plus ten to the okay. damage that it hits, so uh, thirteen minus five, that's not going to hit, is it? No. And bolstering magic wouldn't help. Because that uh, would bring me up to eleven. No, that's not going to do it. Alright, well, we're going to try that shit again, then. Okie dokie. <laughs> Uh, thir 17 minus 5 is 12, plus 3, 15 hit? Yes. You That'll hit, it. hit then. You hit it hard. Yeah. So, uh, 11 plus 10 plus 3 plus 10. <laughs> dead. Super dead. Great. Cadaverific. Uh, <laughs> just completely annihilated. <laughs> just mashing brains all day long. This is all I'm good at. Please note, though, that I'm getting lucky because I'm not super smart, and so if they would attack me, I am fucked. This is the trade-off. 
the way that the intellect devourers work is that they will focus on NPCs until attacked, and then they will go after other people. <laughs> Great, so, this is why I am just like strolling through this. Yeah, because you are the first the first and last attack is always the same for you. <laughs> uh cool. Yeah. Uh is in how is drinking in drinking a potion a full action or a bonus action to you? Uh you, you can have it as a bonus. Great, I'm gonna drink a potion of speed. Okay. <laughs> uh and uh it gives me haste. All right. Uh, which gives me one more attack to everything. Uh, so I'm going to take that attack with my javelin. Not right. lightning, just going to throw it uh, okay. at the one nearest to me. 27 to hit. 27's a hit. And damage. Uh, nine piercing, because I'm not doing the lightning. Okay, nine piercing. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, it is still alive, but bleeding heavily from the javelin wound. Cool. That's fine. The javelin appears back in my hands. As we go back to Jobetta. Jobetta. Uh, okay. Um, well, first things first. Uh, gonna give that one a bonk with spiritual weapon. Okay. That's a 21 to hit. 21 is a hit. 17 force damage. Super dead. Splatted. Cool. And then they run. They say, there's one more student in the reliquary. Is that the room that's up this way? Yep. Cool. So I'm gonna go up here. Fuck. And I still can't see, so I guess I'll just... Uh, that was a bonus action, so yeah, I can still dash, so... Uh, yeah. Although, I'll, we'll say one thing for this student. He has not been hit by anything for the last few turns that things have happened. Um, cool. I'm going to go here. Um, and then... Bonus action. Just, yeah, you so see I a can't... dwarf fighting off one of these things while standing on one of the rel reliquary racks. I can't do anything else. Is that a tiny moon? So I, okay, I'm not going to get stuck on this it's um, a replica it's you know okay, okay i was gonna say it looks like the moonstone hammer um yep that's all i can do and i'm okay, like okay. oh there's one more in here norbog okay but they're super fast because i'm super fast now yep i've moved i it, it intentionally moved out of the doorway so that norbog can just can just it run in fails to claw the student again and the student does not succeed on the succeed on the save to devour its intellect and the student takes Six psychic damage and loses. Fuck! Eleven intelligence. Uh, the student is now stunned and sitting at zero intelligence. So you watch the dwarf kind of go limp. Uh, and from oh, the other room, Norbog, you hear Jobetta go, No! And I assume it's bad. Ten, up on the ship. Okay, so I'm still kneeled here. I just saw Lilith absolutely destroy Jarlaxle after With getting words. stabbed. Right. <laughs> um, so I'm connected to the ship now, with like mentally. Yeah. Okay. To, my primary question is: Do these ships have any artillery, like integrated, or is it just a <laughs> ship? It is. The Pegasus destroyed it on the deck that you were standing on. <laughs> totally fine. Don't need it. Uh, and I will, what I'm going to do if I can, I'm not on that map so I can't see where the other one is, but uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'll kneel there and after seeing Lilith absolutely save my ass, I'll kind of look up with a grin and be like, my queen, you may want to hold on to something. And uh, I'm going to command it to ram the fucking other ship outside of the keep. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take the problem and we're gonna push it somewhere else. <laughs> right over Copper City. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Guys, right, get ready. <laughs> Everybody, look <laughs> out. <blood. laughs> I'm pretty bloody. Does it make a <laughs> sound when it backs up? <laughs> <laughs> they start crashing into each other. Nice. Am I still on the deck? 
I like to well, think that we're you kind are. of I couldn't on move all at you at once. Cool. I was just making sure. There we go. <laughs> Jalaxel's like, oh, I really had hoped I'd been able to keep this one. <laughs> Shut up, Jalaxel. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jalaxel. I'm so mad at you. I am. Like, I knew it was coming, but I'm still mad. <laughs> <laughs> So, for if, in effect, are both of these ships taken out of commission for this fight? Uh, they're crashing into each other. Their decks have been cleared. The one has already been heavily damaged by Lucathor coming in and <laughs> fucking it up. So, it's basically going down in a smoking heap after getting crashed into by the other one. And the other one is barely staying aloft. Uh, We're still aloft. So... <laughs> I had been wondering, like, I'd been searching for the best way to use that... <laughs> that ultimate for so long and when you said we could bring in any i was like all right here we go <laughs> kashano you're up mm. um spoon are you good yeah i'm good pal you go take care of the kids there's all a door right. over here uh up here to my to my right well there's a there's a door to my right um i guess yeah i'll kind of like run this way do i see anything in here no it's all clear I okay, cool. close that off. Um, <laughs> so that's on me. And but Smoony points I'll, you in this direction. <laughs> I'll continue along. Um, I don't think I can make it all the way there. We'll, we'll say that I like... Oh, wait, who points me to his right? Uh, yeah, his right. Oh, so all it's, it's all clear on the left? Yeah. Oh, okay, fuck. Well, then we'll say... That was too much, and I didn't want I, this one to be that hard. I was totally <laughs> listening and paying attention to him. Um, I ran a little bit, and then I misty stepped, and then I ran a little more. I don't know. I'm not counting it out, but let's say I just get inside the doorway. Sure. Why not? Um, Sounds good to me. Sweet. Uh, what kind of shape does this brain look like it's in? Uh, pretty good. A little bit damaged. Okay. You think you could probably take it out with something? Cool. Uh, I'll drop a weapon again, since I ran out of bullets before and had to holster. Okay. What do you got for me? Oh, sorry. That's how you still have the gun. All right, uh, rolling. I don't. I don't have that button. You have the staff. staff. Oh, <laughs> just what I needed. <laughs> just what I fucking needed. I. I, like, uh, I, I I'm go gonna ahead. throw the staff like a spear. Okie dokie. I think I'm at the. Uh, I'm probably at the end of my movement here. Make an attack. Just make an attack with the staff and see if you can throw it. It might do it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, a 26? That's a hit. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to give you one-handed damage for five. Okay, cool. <laughs> five. It is still barely oh, alive. <laughs> you just bonk it. It, like, squeaks a little bit. <laughs> Eat! Uh... But it's still kicking. Lilith, what are you the ships are crashing. You're not sure how much longer this one's gonna stay in the air. What are you doing? Slapping Jalaxel. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever disobey me again? <laughs> I'm gonna use my turn to work out some feelings. He might be into it. You know? <laughs> never know. Uh, <laughs> um, sorry, okay. Jokes aside. Um, uh, paint me the picture. What's going on with these ships right now? You're, you're on the deck of the Nautiloid ship. You're with Jarlaxle and Penn. Penn has just ordered the ship to crash into the other one. It is backed into it. The two ships are smashing into each other. The other one is falling to the ground in pieces, and this one is starting to slowly list towards the ground. Okay, so there's like no mind flares I need to be wary about? Not currently. <laughs> What's inside this ship, though? <laughs> Fire mostly at this point. <laughs> I just want to make sure everything's dead. Um, you know what? I'll just help it burn more. I'll throw a fireball inside the ship. <laughs> it can always burn. Yeah. <laughs> you throw a fireball inside the ship and you guys feel the entire framework and deck of the ship ripple and shake as you it's your first explosion goes off followed by a dozen smaller ones as the flammable materials inside these nautiloid ships which nautiloid brine is flammable and uh just starts to go off 
until the whole thing bulges and begins to shatter and break at the top as the whole ship begins to fall to the ground now. Explosion! <laughs> <laughs> um... Do you wish to leave the ship? <laughs> Is the important question you're done. Oh, yeah, no, let's not now. go down with the ship. We're not that committed to suicide. <laughs> no, we are. Do you allow Jarlaxle to leave? <laughs> oh, yeah, now he's... Look, he's my tool now, so why why waste a good tool? Um, <clears throat> I guess, yeah. Uh, Pen, can you get up? <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> uh, Pen, are you still paralyzed? I probably should have checked before I downed the ship. <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah, we could go. And yeah, whenever it's my turn, I'll probably get my fell steed out. <laughs> Jarlaxle follows Lilith off the ship and floats to the ground. Norba! All right. Oh, I got... wait. Temporary hit points, because I'm hurting real bad. Sorry. Okay. So, <laughs> mental inspiration, fine. and if Sky, if you need it, add 11. I okay. love it. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. All right, you good? Yep. All right, I got double movement, because I got haste, so I can get through the door, run up to this guy. No, there we go. Uh, Gonna hit him twice. Okay. 30 to hit, which shockingly is not a crit for me. Ridiculous, I know. 30 to hit? Uh, 12 plus 8 plus 3? Dead. Super dead. Destroyed. Cat and Keep is liberated. Great. I still have haste, and I still have an extra movement, and I have <laughs> twice my movement speed, so I'm getting the fuck out of here to chase down whatever. Yeah, I'll grab, I'll grab Kshana, Kshana's stick, throw it at him as I pass, and, uh, <laughs> Take 80 feet of movement to start busting ass to elsewhere in the academy. All right. Because I'm on a roll, so I'm just going to keep okay, hitting things it. as you keep throwing them. <laughs> Did you do a dex save to see if you catch it? Mm -hmm. So, you guys now have one free summons. Without using ultimates. What's, I guess before we figure that out, what's looking rough here? Like, what looks like it could use help? We're still needing to yeah. read. Well, if you'd like, we can figure that out right now. Okay. So. Let's do status check. Mm -hmm. Remaining buildings to be liberated are the blacksmith, the training hall, the stables, the dorms, and the storehouse along with the brewery. That is so much. Mm -hmm. So, we have reached the end of what you guys can do before I make the next thing happen. <laughs> okay. So, so, who's that summoned? Well, I'm gonna... Because I am a benevolent dungeon master, I know I've been saying that a lot tonight, I'm going to <laughs> let you guys pick after we do the dice resolutions. Okay. To assist one of them. So, starting with the blacksmith. I will need a d20 roll for each of you. You have not liberated any of the places that give you bonuses. So it will just be a straight, this is how your allies did in the battle. All right, we got one, 15, 17, I'm six. Okay. <laughs> Not one? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe we should... 17. Okay. Fuck! We got another building. Two. 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 One, two, a two. Do we, we have like... another reroll? We do through? have one more reroll. We have one more. We have one more reroll. Yeah, but Melissa what if I get a three? A... Melissa I... rolled a 19, and we do still have, like, a bunch of other buildings to do. <laughs> yeah, I got a 19. Okay. So you got a 19. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the numbers are... 17... 15, 2, I'm so sorry. 17, 19. That's Am I missing things. anyone? No. Okay. Here are my rolls. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. <laughs> Maybe one will get a one. A five. Oh. Another five. Oh, wow. 
A 20? Fucking oh. hell. Wait, does my bolstering magic count to adding a bonus to my two? <laughs> it we does have, not, like, because you, you are not doing building. this. <laughs> Some with named NPCs that we love. <gasps> well, they got a one. A one? And a three. Okay. Two beats a one. We lost I one pair building. my highest numbers against your highest numbers. And my lowest numbers against your lowest numbers. <laughs> and I defeat you once. And you defeat me four times. That means the blacksmith shop is liberated, but one student died. Mm. And that yeah. student was resurrected by Lenny yep. the Lich. Yep, <laughs> Lenny resurrects them. <laughs> do, do we know what NPCs All right, come were on, in there? This won't do. Philip and Bart Jr. were defending the blacksmith shop because that's where they live and work. Hey. <laughs> oh, we got three more rerolls from Wild Wolf. Thank you, Wild Wolf. <laughs> thank God. Oh, fuck. I was going to fucking God. cry. Next up is the training hall. No named NPCs here, full of students has a plus five bonus to Kashano's role because Kashano is assisting. <laughs> Other Kashano is assisting. Are we let's... just all rolling again? Oh yeah, let's see what you got. We are? Yep. We yep. resolve We have to do this for every building. 18. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay. Eight, we got 18. Actually a 13. We got a 13. We got a 10. 17. 17 and a 5. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is recompense for Wait, just smashing we, through stuff. Should well, we use one of the rerolls? Remember, on... guys, we're going to have... Oh, yeah, we got rerolls. Yeah, one. use it. And also, we're going to have an assist to come save one of these buildings. When we're done. Yes. You, uh, can have this, you have a summon that you can use on one of these. I say go ahead and reroll. Yeah, I'd say yeah. You if you want. Roll. At least okay. that 5, yeah. Okay, I'll burn, I'll burn it on a reroll. Okay. 14. Much 14. better. 14. That's so much better. Okay. Okay. A one, a 19, a 12, this is very stressful. <laughs> a two, and a 20 again. What the fucking 20s? So, Again, I pair my highest against your highest, and my lowest against your lowest. And I defeat you twice. Two students perish in the training hall. But the training hall is liberated, as you defeat me three times. We can decide where to send the ally after all of the results, right? Yes. If you okay. want to retcon one of the results afterwards, mm -hmm. I will allow you to do that. Okay. okay. The stables. Let's see it. Nine, ten, seventeen. Six. <laughs> uh, should I reroll my six? Is that the lowest one? Uh, let's see what Lilith gets. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Got a nine. Nine. Okay. Then yeah, I think we rolled. I think yeah, we rolled. We rolled a six. Roll the six. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, we rolled a six. Eleven. 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 Better. Got average. It's better. God damn. <laughs> it happens. Overall, our rolls haven't been too terrible, actually. <laughs> All right. Please don't say that. I got a 2, 19, 17, 12, and 5. Got some ties. Well, actually, my 19 beats your 17. My 17 beats your 11. Oh. Uh, <laughs> my 12 beats your 10. Yep. <laughs> and your uh -oh. two nines beat my 2 and 5. The stables was not liberated. Snappy, Albert. No! Reggie. <laughs> we gotta go get my And pets. Bowling Ball are lost. No! <laughs> Very mean, Puck. <laughs> I'm sorry! I don't want to do this! It's what the dice did! 
Hey, do the just go on to the next one. <laughs> Storage hall. <laughs> Dice rolls, please. <laughs> we still have three rerolls left. Yeah. Two. I th Fucker. Oh, wait, do we have? Oh, I don't know. I yeah, because we had one, and then we got three more, and we just spent one. Seventeen. Four. Fifteen. Wolf. Wolf. Oh, we're rolling again. Sorry. Yes. yes. Uh oh. What? It's a four. Oh, fuck you and Beth both got four. <laughs> we roll one or both of those fours? We roll both of those fours? We can reroll? Yeah, we, we have more? Re yeah. Yeah, we have more. We have got more. Re we have three rerolls. Three, three left, yeah. so you can. Yeah. All right, I'm going to reroll. Okay. Both of you rerolling. Re yeah. 17. Oh, so much nice. better. Nice, nice, nice. 10. Much better. Okay, it's better than Ten. a four. Better than a four. Better than a four. <laughs> Where are we at right now? Uh, we are at 14, 17, 17, No, the 15. building. Storehouse? Storehouse. Storehouse. Okay. All right. Okay. What do I get? Oh, ah! not so bad. I get a 14. I get a 3. I get a 15. I get a 17. And I get an 18. I beat you with this 18. And... Nothing else. <laughs> One student dies at the storehouse. Uh, the good news is Rumble Snarl, Daryl, and Daryl couldn't die. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> true. They, they, they could die, they try. <laughs> at the storehouse. There are okay. only two people in the brewery. Oh, fuck. Uh, and it's William and Melissa. It uh -oh. is William and Melissa. Uh oh. Let's do the rolls for the brewery, please. No. Does anyone have ultimate slot? Not my infernal <laughs> sister. I have one. <laughs> I have a 12. 13, 17, Coming. 14. 14. 20. 20. Nice. That's okay. my infernal sister, right. man. <laughs> Those are, that's, oh, hawker. <sighs> 20 Fucking versus 20 20s. is tied to Defender. Who's the Defender? <laughs> us? The thing of us. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You guys. Three rerolls and three ultimates for Gilbetta uh, from Wild Wolf. <laughs> nice. <Yes. laughs> Wait, so, why did you roll so many? Oh, none. That's why it exploded. Some shit's going to happen. We'll, we'll yeah, count the 16. Once we get through all this. <laughs> all right, so 20 does not beat 20. Uh, 15 beats 14. Or, sorry, 17 beats 14. Oh, fuck. What am I doing? I mean, sorry, let, hang on a second. I, you know what? I'm going to redo that because that's. There we go. I lose across the board. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Hey. I fucked that up. I had the exploding dice on, but yeah, uh -huh. with that result, I lose across the board, and the brew house is liberated and currently the only people who have died that we know are our dinosaurs and reggie that we know that's a dangerous <laughs> phrase look as long as the drinks are okay we're good <laughs> no that's not the no that's no. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding i'm kidding with these results now on the board and students dead in multiple locations wait so is that it that's it okay I, we have to send something to the stables. Yeah, that's real bad. The stables is the only place that has not been liberated, so it has... The end result of the stables not being liberated is it is now full of mind-controlled dinosaurs that are being nope. converted into illithid monsters. Not for fucking long, it's not. I okay, so, <laughs> so we send free ally, I think, to the stables. That's my vote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who do we send? I have some ideas if, no one else, if, if anybody else has ideas. Uh, rah, rah. <laughs> I mean, the got, crab can is an option. Got anything that can unmind control people, though. Um. All right. I mean, I have a thing. Yeah. Do it. Go down. Yeah, I got nothing. Go okay. Um. Do and it. if nobody else kind of speaks up, then Jobetta. Um. She thinks about all of those sad little dead dinosaurs. Um. And. She's like, absolutely fucking not. And she says, we helped you. It's your turn. And I'm going to summon Tiamat <laughs> to help the stables. 
inside the stables <laughs> as Reggie and Riptide <laughs> struggle to defend the stables from an onslaught of a mind flayer and a bunch of intellect devourers. The intellect devourers close in on Reggie and Riptide as they perch atop a few bales of hay. Reggie's like, I don't, I don't, Reggie's not a quitter, but like, I, I don't think we're going to make it through this, boy. <laughs> and at that Reggie. point, <laughs> a puff of sulfurous flame emerges from the floor of the stable. <laughs> and then five dragon heads come out, uncurling like a flower. And fill the room with dragon breath of all varieties. The dragon breath magically curves around every dinosaur, horse, former dinosaur racing idiot, and dire wolf <laughs> that exists in the stables. Burning away the Mind Flayer presence. And I also use three of my ultimates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, that's that's great. I have more things. I, was, <laughs> mm -hmm. I wasn't actually That finished, was the group but... one? So, like, Jobetta did it, but that was a group action, so now no. Jobetta yeah. gets an individual action. Yeah, yeah this, this is my me one. one. Uh, okay, so for the, uh, the training hall, mm -hmm. which was liberated, but two students died, because that's the one where the next most people died. Um, right. I, <laughs> Jobetta, like, does that, uh, and then she's like, she's like, fucking Christ, like, everything is bad. Uh, so for the training hall, um, Jobetta's like, fuck it, release the crab kid, motherfucker! <laughs> and she, <laughs> she fucking uses oh, all of her ultimates. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and a legion of crabs liberate the training hall uh, with their pinchy pincers, and they untie the students that the mind flayers had strapped to training dummies for target practice, <laughs> and uh, attack the mind flayers and their thought devourer friends, and liberate everyone. I think the uh, the crab can. Um, grabs the, the damaged like nautiloid ship that's going down. Oh, yeah, you gotta get the get the guts out. It's a good part. And he <laughs> cracks it <laughs> up and <it's laughs> like a crayfish. And it's so good. I actually want to do one last thing. Bonus um, action. Jobetta wants to um, bum rush the storehouse and okay. cast Revivify on the one student that died in the storehouse. Very well. Uh, you come inside and... and, and uh, if I have to, I'll burn my last ultimate to get there on time and, and, and revivify that last unit. Very well. So, once all that is done, and the mine ship, mine flare ships are dispersed, and you guys are sitting there thinking that perhaps <laughs> the threat has been removed and you guys are safe. You hear her. Oh, babies, mama's home. And she appears before you. Mother brain. Oh. God, what is that? Why? Why that? Oh, why? Oh, God. Why and what corporation is going to sue us for using yeah, this? No. None. They no. don't exist just no. Did you draw that? Oh my I god. Not. The oh. Nintendo didn't come after us. No one. God. <laughs> god. What in the name of Ghostbusters 2 is that? <laughs> A thing this that needs to die is what it is. Is <laughs> Mother Brain. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> yeah. She she ugly though. 
and she is here uh, for you guys. Would you like All right, to look? I know Sean's never done this before, but can I roll to seduce the brain? <laughs> <laughs> So, are we rolling fresh initiative? Would you like to? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Javetta and I are like, we were at the end. So, yeah. You know, I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> All right, let's roll a fresh initiative, guys. Hi, Sunshine. All right. I don't know why my fucking aren't showing up. I have 15. Oof. <laughs> All right. Our brain is at 11. Oh, nice. Oh, Lilith and I are juiced. <laughs> We're pumped on adrenaline. We're all kind of juiced, honestly. The lowest was a 15. <laughs> right? We're uh, not having this. <laughs> absolutely fucking not. You guys are just like, no. Never. Not this. Whatever this is, I don't like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, I don't have Kashano on the list, so let us, let's get Kashano in the list. 15. All right, Mother Brain is here. Mother Brain, no. <laughs> Top of the round is Lilith Singer with a twenty-six. You literally all go before her. <laughs> she can suck our dick, so. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the collective oh, dick, as collective it were. Academy oh, dick. The, the main tower is the Academy's the dick. The royal yeah. wee dick. <laughs> Suck on mage tower. So we got that magic dick, is what you're saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Indeed. So, w what does she look like? If you can describe to me, like so not just this image. She looks like an enormous brain, and there's this bizarre, like, strip of connective tissue that forms a semblance of a face, and she's floating in what appears to be an enormous jar with various accoutrements around it. <laughs> Is it? Is there an opening on the jar? There does not appear to be. Okay. It's filled with some kind of brine. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> I. I think you misspelled brain. Uh, ah! <laughs> Just had another ultimate. <laughs> Use them all, saving students pens, flush with ultimates. Um... <laughs> Give me up. <laughs> <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> All right, first I want to, uh... God damn it. <laughs> mental, mental inspiration, buff Would up my like party. Would you like to fight the monster? <laughs> I'm scared of this thing, actually. <laughs> like, I'm kind of unnerved by this entire thing. I really am! <laughs> mental inspiration. Okay. Everyone gets 11 temporary hit points if you need it, and um, move if you want. Um, Come on. Cool. Fuck being this close to it. <laughs> I'm taking cover. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. I'm... <laughs> You're like, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. Yeah, 60. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. No. <laughs> I think it's around here. Everyone's like moving now. <laughs> Javetta's gonna Spread go out, stand man. in the pool. Okay, I think I have one more. Wait, wait. I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah. But, but <laughs> there's is water Jarlaxle right there. Go, is Jarlaxle going with Lilith? or is... Jarlaxle turns invisible. <laughs> of course he does. Um, Can you tell Jarlaxle to be like, bait? Meat shield this? Can you tell... Yeah. Can we tell I, 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 the fucking move? I'm trying to decide where to go. Sorry. He has to help. So I, I think I just take like three steps back because I. Oh like, my god. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I, I I go back and I'm. I wish I could cure, but just in case, uh, let's see what luck has for me. I want to. I, I want to point gonna, out. I'm... Oh, go ahead, but like also I. I did not think as many people in the chat would get this reference as did. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay. Brain. Okay, okay. Uh, fingers crossed, everybody. From parts unknown. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use polymorph on it. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to polymorph it, and I'm going to go back to... One of my plans from earlier when I didn't do it. Go make it like a little 
little no rats move <laughs> yeah. rats do move yeah i don't know a little not flying bug <laughs> that doesn't move fast a, a, a snail. worm a snail. Snail. A snail or a worm okay slug. Yeah. slug with so many <laughs> lists all right let's uh you know what let's do let's do snail <laughs> all right uh what is the save dc wisdom 17 Oh okay. God, Mother Brain! It's yeah, Mother I, Brain. Yeah, yeah, but it could fail. It might. Oh, maybe. God. I literally back off and be like, "Oh, oh hell no!" <laughs> she gets an eleven. Oh my God! But she chooses to succeed. Yep, that works. that's fine. That gets one of those out of the yeah, way. That's one out of the way. <laughs> okay, that's one out of the way. It's okay. It's okay. I've got. That's all I can do for my. Oh. All right. Scared. <laughs> and so anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> oh boy, I'm about to do some hot warlock shit. Um so giant brain just appeared, it's in a jar. Uh the, you said it's in a jar and then it's like surrounded by brine in the jar. Uh yes. Okay. I'm sorry, can I move too? Sorry, I didn't take an action to move. I'm not an action. Sure. Uh, a move time. Thank you. This is a giant brain, and the one job I have as a warlock for my patron is to get him as much knowledge as possible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend my first turn casting Dimension Door into this jar. And actually, before I go, I'm going to look at Norbog, who is conveniently right next to me and hits the hardest out of all of us, and I'm going to be like, (laughs) I'm going inside. Do you want to come? You need to hold your <laughs> breath. Inside? In, and I po- I just point at this jar. I mean, I got to get close to it somehow. I was going to try to get inside anyway, so let's go. And I just present my hand, and I cast Dimension Door and step through, and uh, I guess we're just in... I fucking love this. In brain for however long in we can hold. You. Yeah, we're in the jar. <laughs> okay. Two minutes? Probably got, I we can hold our two minutes. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. You don't need verbal components. And I don't. I, do, I, I just don't need necessarily to either. All right. Are you ultimating in there or just spell? Uh, does that make a difference, Mr. Dungeon Master? You tell me, sir. <laughs> I'm. Mm, I've been very benevolent today. I think I'm all out. <laughs> uh, I am not ultimating in this jar. Very well. You didn't have to. Oh, cool. <laughs> Good gamble. Good gamble. <laughs> Good gamble. <laughs> All right. So, is that your turn? I mean, we're in the jar. So are, yeah. we in, are we in the jar? You are in the jar. Sweet. I can't breathe. Uh, I can't get. I can't move over it. So it's kind of just to pull next us to the to top it. layer and put yeah. us in there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, get out of here! <laughs> what? The- you ain't supposed to be inside. Oh, wait. Awakened mind. We can still talk. Can still talk. I look at Norbach. <laughs> uh, Kishano, what do you got? Um, Kishano leans around the corner and extends a hand and just tries to draw out a giant brain's ears. I'm going to cast Phantasmal Killer at it. Uh, is a DC 17 wisdom save. She does all right. <laughs> no, she fucking doesn't. You're stupid <laughs> as you look. I'm going to use some cutting words. <laughs> uh, right. so she'll take a two Ooh, off That's of exactly that. how much you needed to reduce it Oof. for. <laughs> Uh, a fleet of Gith Yankee warriors. Interesting. Uh, attacking her and killing her, annihilating her. <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh where I'm at though, but I'm going to make sure Jobetta's got inspiration. Bitches in your house. Do about it. (laughs) 
She's in the house! She's in your house! Okay, uh, in between rounds, it's gonna use its tentacles on Pen as a legendary action. It's another Three. one of those. Like Thirteen that does not hit. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Now it's no bugs. Jill better taught me uh, how to swim. <laughs> I'm going to throw as much as I can at this as quickly as I can. So for one, I think me reappearing in its brain fluid counts as a surprise attack. So I'm going to invoke my surprise attack for starters. I'm going yeah, to tap my tattoo. <laughs> So the tattoo is in place. I'm going to rage and roll my D8. Okay. Uh, Give me I that get big a hit. one. Cool. And that's uh, you, Kaiba. Each creature uh, I can see within 30 feet of me must succeed a constitution saving throw. That I choose, which is important, so not pen. So the brain needs to do a constitution saving throw or take 1d12 of necrotic damage. Got uh, I also gain... Got what? Got an 18. Okay, let me quickly see what my rage bullshit is. Uh, I think it beats it, but oh, it says it somewhere. Somewhere it tells me what the, it is. Uh, DC equals eight plus my proficiency bonus plus my constitution modifier. So eight plus, where's my proficiency bonus? Eight plus four plus five. All right. So eight plus four plus five is still not 18. So nope. she succeeds. <laughs> All right. Well, fuck that. Uh, it's still in play. All right. I'm still going to hit her real fucking hard. Okay. So first hit, 27 to hit. 27's a hit. Okay. So it's going to take a whole bunch of damage. For one, it's going to take 2d6 damage for the sneak attack. So okay. I'm going to roll that first. Seven on that. Seven. Uh, it's then going to take uh, my 8d8 for my tattoo damage. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's 5d8 and then 3d8. Okay. <laughs> 29 plus 14. Uh, Is there a way that you could add more math to this? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hate math. Uh, and yes, I am, because I'm gonna now, now gonna do the attack 50 so damage, far. Okay, got 50. Which is 10 plus 10 plus 30. Oh. And that's just the first so, hit. I do um, still okay. have another. So, all right. 73 total damage currently. <laughs> inside Perfect. the brain jar. Let's see that other hit. The other hit is gonna be a 29 to hit. Yeah, that hits. And it's gonna take 9 plus 7 plus 3. Okay. 19. <laughs> 19 damage. Uh, she is still alive. She's pissed. Well, she I'm pissed turned. too. Do you know how long it's going to take me to clean my fur after this? And I'm saying that as I'm hitting it, but it's just coming out. She struggles feebly to get you with her tentacles and fails. I need to teach you guys all Aquan. Jibetta. Okay, so you said she's in a jar, right? Yeah. Does the jar have a lid? No. Cool. Um. <laughs> just seeing John laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, right, I'm gonna. No, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna suck her goo out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cast. <laughs> I'm gonna cast that, control. That is water. how you get it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to cast control water, and I'm gonna pull her fucking brain goo out of the jar. All right. All right. You don't have any ultimates to use on this. Yeah, I don't have any ultimates. All right. Uh, you can agitate it. You can move it around, but you're having trouble finding any opening to get it out of. Well, I thought you said it didn't have a lid. Yeah, it doesn't have a lid. It doesn't have... Nope. It's a sealed jar, but there's not a lid specifically yeah. to enter in no, it. No, it's, it's, it's like a... Oh. It's like a complete glass thing. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. instead Sorry. what I'll do is... Um, let's see. Well, then instead what I'll do is I will part the water. Okay. And I'll part it um, in such a way that... Um, I'll part it away from the brain. To, like, move it to the sides? Yeah. 
All right, you start to create some small gaps in it, and then you can start to see the parts where she's in begin to like sag and sink to the, the ground. The first gap that I create will be where uh, Norbog and. Oh, good. So they can breathe a little bit. Yes. I was going to have them start taking damage next turn. <laughs> yeah, no, I would, I would do it so that they can breathe. Very well. It is done. Oh, um, and then, I don't know, I guess, I don't know, I can't really bonk a jar. <laughs> fucking, does Lil still have shatter? <laughs> like, fucking Lil, Christ. do you have shatter? <laughs> can you shatter the thing? No, okay. <laughs> Just blood spurt. <laughs> but I took a lot of damage today. <laughs> um. So yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'll just bonk the jar. I can't do right. anything like inside of it. Go for um. It. So yeah, I'll just bonk. I still have spiritual weapon up, so I'll just bonk it. Okay, give me that bonk. Uh, you hit. <laughs> As I say, it's a big jar. I feel like doesn't it doesn't have remarkable movement or anything. Thirteen four seven. I'll hit it anywhere that I think I might be able to create an opening to spill the water out. Uh, you bonk it, and cracks begin to form. Okay. Jabba is uh, like, break the jar. On its turn. Fucked. It is going to mind blast you people. <laughs> Uh, any creatures within 60 feet? That's so, yeah, yep, that's everybody. Oh, I'm out. I am not in range. No, you are out of range. So everybody Ooh. except Lilith <laughs> <laughs> is getting mind blasted. What is that? What's the, what's the DC what that? 18 intelligence saving throw? Rude. Do we still have a bonus from that from Rolda? Yes. Or advantage. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll roll it again. All right, I'll take Donald's a good. Pen's Ooh, good. Nat 20 Intelligence, you said? One. Yes, please. Thank God I'm not in that. <laughs> I just don't well, do okay. Do we have any re -rolls? Is not good. I, wait, wait, I, I still have bolstering magic because it lasts for 10 fucking minutes. Uh, yes. My highest one was a nine. D3. Oh, dear. Uh, can I add bardic inspiration to that? Sure. I got a three that bumps me up to 19. Uh, no, you guys used up all your rerolls on saving people. I'm bumped up to a 19, so I'm nope. safe. Okay. <laughs> That's cool, man. So Javetta so takes sorry. the mind blast, uh, and she is stunned. Not the cleric. Yep, your cleric is stunned, and she takes 5d10 plus 5 psychic damage. That is 2429 psychic damage. 2420. What? What? Sorry, 29. 29. Oh. So it's 24 plus 5. So it's You're 29. counting, I see. <laughs> cool. That uh, with my between Heroes Feast and the Temp HP from Lilith, that puts me back down to my uh, full normal health. <laughs> You're normal. <laughs> I, I wow. see. It then points an eye in the direction of Norbog and fires a psychic ray. Flip it off. As it's coming at me. <laughs> uh, DC 13? Yes, please. Intelligence? Yes, please. With advantage? Yes, please. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. And oh, my, no. I don't... Wait, my bolster magic could save me because it's DC 13. Uh, so I'm going to roll a D3. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have to do it on a separate page because D3s are ridiculous and they don't exist. Uh, that's a plus three. So that gets me a 14. Okay, with a 14, you save, and you don't take the psychic damage. Cool! I flip her <laughs> off again! <laughs> All right. <sighs> Lilith, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I was back here. <laughs> I'm like that one person who's like lagging me, like, Wait, one second. One second, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna cure wounds myself. <laughs> I need to get back in the game. Patching herself up. But then again... <laughs> yeah, I need to patch up just in case. Yeah, I'm not doing too good. Okay, okay, yeah. Where are you? Okay, yeah, desperate times. I gotta use this one. <laughs> Third level. Holy crap. <laughs> 
Get myself back up. Maybe I did too much. Wow. Oh, you feel better <laughs> really now? Good. I feel real good. <laughs> Woo! All right. Well, the is patched up. Yep. And then um, I want to throw a bardic inspiration on Jabetta. We like. Hang in there! <laughs> so Eight 1d10 points. for Jabetta. All right. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can take cover in. For me, that is that, yeah, that's shelter. Okay, yeah, take that's over shelter. there. That's, that's, that's shelter. That's away from the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second. I'm gonna get back in the game, okay? <laughs> Just need a breath. <laughs> ben, oh, you're up. <laughs> Okay, so I'll seeing this little bubble that Jovetta has made around us. I'll uh, I'll take a deep breath of it, and then I'll dive back in, and I'm swimming to the top of the brain, mm -hmm. and all the while I'm doing a short six second monologue, yeah. uh, where I essentially am like, "You think you're so smart? You think you're so cool? You really fucked up!" And I get up top, and I was like, "I'll show you what a real brain can do," and I pull open my tome and I slap it down over the top of this brain, <laughs> and I spend three ultimates to summon as my ally, my patron, to come fucking dissect this thing and take all its knowledge for our benefit. So. Like a vacuum. A bright green light emanates from your book, and the spectral chains that are indicative of your pact come flying out, surrounding this brain. More and more and more and more, wrapping around it, constricting it and twisting until they pull it tightly as a rope. And then it's drawn into the book. And the glass around you guys shatters. And the brine and pen and Norbog roll out onto the ground of the Avalon Knights Academy. So I was like, I told you to break the glass. Covered in goo. Oh, you did, it? it's broken. That worked, that worked. I step out. It fucking worked. Okay, fireball time. <laughs> no, 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 the fireball's all right. <laughs> Is your patron gonna be okay? Where'd it go? My patron's gonna think I'm the best warlock ever. I just gave him like the equivalent of a thousand libraries. Oh, hold on, what just happened? What did Pen do? Pen put a he, book on its head. He summoned he his patron. It up into the book. I mean, he used three ultimates. Pen, you're a hero! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a warlock. So, amidst everything, you all hear the voice of Worm Spit in your heads. And it's just one word. Help. And your eyes are drawn to the top of the tower where you can see Worm Spit with a mind flayer that is larger than the rest you've seen. Has his tentacles wrapped around his head. Seemingly ready to feast. How tall? Polymorph? Like, so. Yeah, yes. I'm Power like, so. is very tall. It's not the mind player that we've run into before, is it? No. I can fly so I can see uh, it. If you'd like. Yeah, can I fly and move up in range to do polymorph on it? Absolutely. The tower is very yeah, tall. How tall? Uh, our tower is about, we'll say, uh, 60 feet tall. It's a big tower. Great. Phantasmal Killer has a range of 120 feet. Nice. Yeah, right? I'd like to try <laughs> casting it, if I may, or are we in initiative order? Well, first I'd like Lilith to make an investigation check if she'd like to fly up and look at this. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, sure. I got brain power. 
Investigation. Also, also guiding bolts 120 feet. So. Don't ever. Just not. I'm not. I may have been juiced up a little bit, but it was just a little bit. I got a seven. Oh, you don't see it. Shocker! Investigation! Shit! But in an instant, the Mind Flayer's head is severed as tentacles go tumbling to the ground. Jolaxel? And a somewhat raggedy looking human warrior looks over the edge as the Mind Flayer tumbles down. Holy shit, did you see that? Kalik! Take it right off! We know that guy! You guys oh have such God. a big place! <laughs> who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is- yeah, who is that? That's he our friend! Oh, hi, I'm Kalik! I'm with Pen. He isn't cattle! <laughs> or father! He's useful! Okay! Is Wormspit okay? Wormspit! Wormspit kind of like shakily puts up a hand and says, I'm all right. <laughs> I miss a lot. Is somebody going to tell me why the fuck mind flares were here? What happened in Calimport? What the fuck did you One guys second, do? I... And at this you point, other Kishano this... can come running out of the training hall. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Holy can we, can shit! Man, we... was that your the book thing? You... I saw that. Yeah. That was very cool. That was crazy. I wasn't ready. I thought we were going to drown when I look at Norbon. <laughs> Oh, I should have water breathing. I would have been fine. Is there a ladder or something? I don't know how to get down. <laughs> you gotta go inside. Stairs. There's a door? <laughs> Wormspit, MT... can you... It... <laughs> Tell MT1 pen. Like... Oh, yeah, Wormspit's up there. Oh, okay. So the goblin's your friend. Yes. I thought so, because everybody's really upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah just... Okay. With all this excitement, I really got to go. Give me one second, I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, she actually has to go. Oh. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, let's go. I don't right. want to explain our actions alone to the party. Uh, I guess you have to. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Liv runs off to the bathroom and leaves Ben, which is I mean, like, probably the most lowest move ever. I need the whole story because last thing... I remember is like you had found the other me there were multiple meat you know what hold on uh and Kishano turns to Kishano and they catch each other up oh <laughs> yeah love it so you didn't even get the ship you wanted I mean and I gesture to the burning wreckage on the horizon <laughs> so not only did you abandon our students you didn't get what you were after, and you brought three flaming mind player ships. Here. And that big jar. I well, abandoned. Y'all had the students. Y'all didn't need me. What are you talking about? You were a professor here, though. Right, and I went. You three were taking students home. The are one, two of our strongest warriors out of the entire academy. Y'all certainly didn't need me. You clearly. voted to go home. Yes, but someone chose to stay, and I, I, I'm looking pointedly wherever Lilith went, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, I couldn't, I, I wanted to go home. I voted to go home because it's what I wanted, but I couldn't leave someone. I, when I started to leave, I realized I couldn't bring myself to do it. That's, she's family, and to leave her alone, even if she chose to do it, was something I just couldn't stand so that's why i made the choice to stay i wanted to come home do both of you even want to work here then if you're willing to put someone else over your duties here the students that we're supposed to protect what duties we split up all the time you yeah, three went I, home i i come back with a drink in hand oh my gosh that was something else gotta rehydrate myself yeah, something that shouldn't have happened that's all definitely not hold, planned for. Hold hold on a second here. Yeah, hold on. Let's let's discuss this. I'm totally not clear what happened. So hold on. So you voted to leave and then you stayed, right? Yeah, no, that's totally what I did. Okay, so why? Like why 
vote? Why do we do the vote thing if you're ultimately just going to go with the splinter, you know? Good question. The vote is about what we do as an institution. Yeah. Anyone that goes always... against the vote, they do as an individual. Yeah, right. No, good point. So I'd say Penn did that as an individual. As an individual, he went after another individual. Like, it's a choice. He made a choice. He made a choice. I don't know if it's a great choice. Probably not a great choice, but he made a choice. You have to respect it. Not when it brings harm to back home. This wasn't supposed to even happen. That That's not the point. It doesn't matter what was supposed to happen. It is what happened. It's what we do. It's what we've been doing. We go out and we fight things and we fucking bring them home. We just continue to fucking bring shit home. And we yeah. can't. We Jarlaxle. almost lost everything today. Shut the fuck up, Jarlaxle. We almost lost everything. We almost lost everything. Because you two excellent. went rogue and tried to do something that you obviously couldn't fucking do. When hey, we that said we're okay. not us, doing this. From the beginning, whatever followed us here clearly was something that we had encountered before. This is not the first time. I, I, I can say that when it first arrived, I felt like it was something that we encountered back when we were fighting the bugbear gods. I initially thought that that was a, a bugbear god, but it was very... Mother was what they were talking to. So, look, the fact of the matter, to Jabetta's point, what, what do we constantly do? You know? Open the door for things to come home with us. Like we- This doesn't feel like home anymore. We wouldn't have ended up in the Calimport thing if it weren't for Marcus Phoenix's involvement, Asco wanting to draw us out. We wouldn't have stayed there. That was on me. We've got a lot of shit to clean up. We've been tracking it in our house for some time now. I've made enemies. Another th got all who, kinds of people probably upset with what you've been doing. <laughs> Pen, your family is still after us. At very least. And apparently Norbog's a little closer with gods than we thought. I know, right? Yeah, we gotta talk about that later. But not now. <laughs> yeah. Point is... I think we're a hazard to this place. We may have to go clean off our shoes a bit. I, this is a good a time as any to tell you all this. I'm staying here. I'm staying home. Regardless of what you all choose to do, I'm staying home. I've left these students far too much. I need to be here for if something happens, when things happen. So I'm staying. I'm a headmistress first and an adventurer second. And that's not been how I've been acting. And that changes right now. So you all have to decide, are you academy staff first, or are you an adventurer first? Do you stay and protect the people that you've vowed to protect, or do you leave and adventure? You will always have a place here, but each of you has to decide for yourself what your priorities are. To be honest, I... I I'm thinking that the best way to protect this place may be to leave for a bit. I do have some issues that needs resolving. Um, I can't, I'm sorry. Are we seriously talking about just leaving Jill Betta here to manage the riffraff? Yeah, well, basically, what else are we gonna do? I, well. It's gonna be happening for a while. Probably. We could, we could probably Split, hold on, sidebar. And Kashano huddles with himself. 
<laughs> Christ. And, and then we switch? For sure. All right. All right. So, this me seems like it's a fresh me. Or not. I, it's unclear. Point is, risen from the dead, me. Gonna go well, you're see both if you can risen from some the dead, out. technically. Right. Most recently risen from the dead, me. I think Which it's of... gonna go on a sabbatical. I'm Which not leaving aside, a... though. Which of you has a soul? Uh, both, right? Wouldn't it be both? I think. Would it be? Would it be? I. Well, you put the one in me. Yeah, I put the the Can coin we had magical, in you. I'm gonna drop a magical awareness on the Kashanos and see if I can spot any difference between the two of them. I'm gonna drink seeing these two Kashanos. Cause yeah, cause I've been able to see people's <laughs> magic before. So what does what does the Kashanos magic now look like? They both look the same. Huh. Hmm? Well, you both look the same. Oh, so they either both have a soul or press to digitate something. <laughs> Try this. Uh, he hands you the Owen Stone's glasses. I pop them on. What does it say? Shano, human, bard. For both. Yep. Uh, yeah, you you look the same. Neat. This will be very <laughs> useful. Yeah, we might trade places at some point just to get some variety. Just to get some variety out there, you know. But for now, I think that I should definitely be staying with it. Yeah, and I think that I'm a liability. So, well. Who's coming with me? Well, that's Kashano. Uh, do you even know where you're going? Well, got a few ideas. I got places to go. I'm happy to hear him. Frankly, I think there's quite a bit of shit out there that we need to clean up. And I love to push the limits. Hmm. Pen? I don't think I want to be affiliated with the Academy anymore. I don't, I love all of you and I love so many of the people here, but this place and I gesture at how much it's grown up, all the new buildings and refurbishments and students probably helping each other after everything. It's beautiful and it's inspiring and it's what I thought I wanted, but it's not. I just wanted this and I gesture very small to like just this circle of people. And I can't handle that strain of trying to treat everyone here like that. I can't be broken down every time. I can't resurrect someone here who dies or because I tried to do something experimental with magic caused some, caused some problem or something like this. I, I do love it here but stopped feeling like home a while ago and I kind of like my gaze kind of lingers on Jobetta for a second after I say that and I'm like I'll still come and stay at the crab shack and visit and stuff but I don't I don't think I want to be on the paperwork anymore and I kind of pull out my medallion and just kind of hold it in my hand for a second can I scoop pen and pick him up. I'm not heavy. It would not be hard. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he's not gonna resist, Jeff. You just do it. He'll just be like, oh. It seems like this little feather's gonna be flocking with us. That's pen. You will. Um, sad with to us. hear that, but I understand. And if you want to travel with him, you're still welcome to. I have an. I have a thought on that. What if um. Instead of being an Avalon Knights adventuring group, you guys that want to still be affiliated paperwork-wise with the Keep can. Um, and then if you want to form a separate adventuring group that is just hired by the Keep, 
but not direct, like, members of the keep. I think that could be arranged. Like mercenaries? Yes. I mean... Get into a lot of mischief. If the whole goal here is to create some optical distance for official purposes... Better to have as few ties as possible, wouldn't you say? Yep. Well? Norborg? And you can always still be guest lecturers, guest professors, uh, as friends of the Academy. But if this is the route you want to go, then I think you absolve your official titles and choose yourselves. I think you should Understand. all choose yourself. Um, Kishana the Quick, the one that hasn't recently died, the one who's been through a bunch of shit and could use some time at home, uh, steps over next to Joe Betta. But I'm... Not going anywhere. It will be a Kishana here by your side. I appreciate it. I, however, will see you in a bit. Norbog, you haven't said much. Because I don't know what I want. That's okay. I don't think I've ever known what I want because I think I'm always doing things for other people. I mean, I met all of you because my dad asked me to. And in another lifetime, I went somewhere else because my mom asked me to. And even this timeline, I'm here because my parents are here. I've never gotten to be selfish like the rest of you. I don't know if I know how to, because I don't even know what I want out of anything. I don't- That's okay. I don't want to abandon the Academy. I like it here, but I've just always, in here. Yeah. I think that either way you can be successful. You're great with the students and you're also great with your heart's thorn thicket. So whatever calls you, whether that's to stay and fight the battles here every day with me or if that's to go and fight the battles with them. I think... I think I should leave for a bit because as long as I'm here, when when I close my eyes sometimes, I can still see this academy drowning in blood from the time Zealous attacked. And like today, I know one day I will open them again and this place will be drowned in blood. And I think as long as I am expecting to wake up and walk out of the door and find an attack, I don't think I'm ever going to know what I want. I think I'm always going to be living for my parents, or all of you, or the Academy, and I think I need to figure out what I want before I decide that I want the Academy. That's fair. I understand. I understand all of your points, even you, Penn. I, it hurts to say, to hear you say that it doesn't feel like home here, but... also understand and part of the reason it might not feel like home is because we're never here some days the ship feels more like home that's where we spend all of our time traveling but nobody's crab shack rooms are going anywhere let me say that. Plus, I have a wife. I'm sick of being separated from my wife. You deserve a honeymoon, too. This is not much of a honeymoon. You'll have it been on a honeymoon. Gaelic finally emerges from the tower. Oh! 
It's like bigger on the inside. That's crazy. Oh, everybody looks real down. Wow, uh, your timing. <laughs> what? Me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, can I stay here for a little while? I don't have anywhere to go and I don't know how to get home. <laughs> it's kind of what we do. We just kind of pick up the strays. Oh, cool. I don't, I, I'll, I'll go find a place under a tree. Where is home? I mean, Where are you from? Oh, uh, <laughs> we started our adventure up near Silvery Moon. There's a little town out there, a nice little farm. Uh, and then I hooked up with uh, five or six adventuring parties along the way. And, five uh, or six adventuring parties? Uh, uh, creative differences occasionally. Uh, sometimes I'll trip and something bad will happen. I don't know. He's you clumsy seem like in his education. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I hear that's expensive. And what school would take me? Well, I think you should talk to our headmistress, Gilberta. Oh, really? She can get you all sorted out. Who's she? I kind of maneuver him. Yeah, it's about like, hey. Oh, that's you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, I'm Kalik. Uh, hey. I'm uh, kind of clumsy. I can take hits real good. I'm pretty good with a sword. Is that. Is any Pen? You said he said he was with Pen. Pen, is that true? Any of that? In the brief time I've known him, he's a very good man. Pen's he's my best friend. Hey, yep. He <laughs> found me. In, he found me in Kalimport, and he fought better than all of Jarlaxle's men. Um, an awakened mind, just to. But I guess both Kshanos, because I don't know. They're actually, just our party. I'm making uh, a face at you. But it's important. <laughs> Oh, sorry. But it's important that Gilbetta and Kishano specifically know, but everybody can hear it except him. Uh, I will say it is important to note that he and his previous party had some interesting in uh, experiences with Siric, something about trying to commune with him. He had a black coated weapon that we got rid of when he came to us that ended up actually being really good, but we crashed it. <laughs> Because we were know. worried, but he seems like a very, very good person. Uh, Jobetta, Jobetta, before Pin even kind of finishes, Jobetta will say, "I tell you what," she'll say, "Kashano, the, the Kashano that's staying." Mm. She'll say, "Since you're in charge of our onboarding uh, program right now, why well, don't you uh, take and uh, have a talk with him and figure out what he's about?" Yeah. Oh, cool. Hope there's not a physical exam. <laughs> Nah, no, nothing please. like that. A little bit of psychological no. exam you may have to... But you know what? Don't worry about it. Lucky yes. for you, young man. You've gotten a secret scholarship that you get by saving the life of somebody important to us. Come here. Uh, oh, sweet. As long as there's start... no rope climbing, I'm no good with ropes. Um, <laughs> I'll start just go to walking Jibet him and be like... <laughs> towards the mage tower where me and MT are going to ask him some questions. Of course. To Jibetta, kind of like Kishano. <laughs> Fuck, I love Kishano. You just give him something and he just fucking goes with it. <laughs> just so you're aware, I haven't seen him fight and he hasn't come out with any kind of injury. So. Something's definitely weird, but. Something's I not. Something's off. Trust that Kishano will get to the bottom nice. of it. He seems oh, nice, guys. Oh, don't worry. I'm not letting that one go. Off that he seems nice. It'll be probably. Kishana, you know, you guys are having uh -huh. seems this nice? conversation. While you're all having this conversation, Jarlaxa leans in close to you, Pen. And he whispers very carefully in your ear, and he says, You're right, you know. Someone else sent the ship to your academy. There were only four of us on there. And then just calmly walks away. Hold on, bitch, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> He's still under Meanwhile, my orders. <laughs> He's a walk away. Somewhere deep in Faerun, in a small town in a forgotten tavern, a spindly blonde haired fellow relaxes and sips his drink. As other people gather around to listen to him, they're drawn to this man. This thin person with sharp features. It seems to exude a certain amount of charisma. 
He says, all over Faerun, in taverns and meeting places, fools are joining hands, attempting to grasp at some kind of greatness, thinking the things that they do together will push them forward. Over and over again, this happens all over the Sword Coast and Faerun, Toril in general. Nobody will remember them, and the stories all end the same. With death in a forgotten dungeon. But occasionally, one person will rise up from these groups, cast off his companions, like broken armor and rise to something truly great. It's not that I hate parties. I used to have one myself. And I must admit, there are certain doors that don't open for you without them. But once they've done what you need them to do, you can just get rid of them. And that is why I'm the Prince of Lies. <laughs> and that is where we end the season. <laughs> Almost. There is one cutscene. There is one cutscene. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. There will be a season four. It will not be as long as the current season. We have some plans, and I'm not going to talk too much at length about them. We're going to go over some of that in the downtime here. But don't worry, we will be coming back. You will see us all again in January. It has been a pleasure, my friends, to play with you this year. It's been just wonderful. I appreciate it, and I love it. It has been a pleasure to perform for you, our audience, for you guys. There is no show without you. We can't do it without you. And I appreciate it so much. The support, the bonuses, the ultimates, the kind of stuff that goes on for us that I never thought I'd be running a channel that does. <laughs> like, it's just incredible. The animation you expect to see more of next year as well. We're going to be sharing that around a lot. Be sure to tell your friends. It's really cool. And, uh, that's it for today, everyone. So until the new year, and stay tuned for the raid and the cutscene. But until the new year, class dismissed. It's D and D. It's D and D. It's D and D. It's D and D. We all agreed to play some D and D. That means role playing, fighting, and slaying, solving puzzles. Maybe it's just me. But you guys won't. No, we won't. You guys just don't. No, we don't. Follow a single plotline through and through I'm not complaining, but instead of gaming You find the weirdest other things to do In the hours of the night Hellsinger is lying in bed And slumbers into a deep, deep sleep And then opens her eyes To see herself in a red room where Lilith sits patiently and watches what few memories were available to see from Helsinger's memories. Helsinger goes to sit next to Lilith and gives a wicked smile. Oh, you're about to get to the good part where I drink Zeriel's blood. It's like licking hot iron. Shame that power tied me down to hell. So many missed opportunities to help my family. Well, that's your own fault, ex-queen of Avernus. You act on whim without much forethought. <laughs> Is that how you see me? Perhaps I can be a bit brash, but look where it got me now. A second chance. A second chance to almost destroy my... Our home. Helsinger tightens her lips then speaks. It was taken care of. It could have been avoided. Or perhaps I stopped what could have been a bigger problem. You don't know that. And neither do you. The two tieflings remain quiet until they calm down a bit. I don't regret it. This 
was a thing that lodged onto our minds before when we fought that god somewhere. Honestly, I'm relieved we took out the poison before it could fester further and beyond our control. You don't have to believe me, but I think I did the right thing no matter what anyone says. Who knows what that thing had planned for Pen, Kashano, us. Or maybe you fell for its plan and were manipulated the entire time. Perhaps. But those what-ifs and maybes aren't any good now. I guess not. Look, it's been a long, long day, and I am feeling a bit winded. How about you take the rain while I rest? What? Spend your time wisely, because I will take over when I'm ready. Hellsinger gets up from her seat and walks towards the darkness before she stops and says, Oh, and Lilith? Nice of you to be bracing more of your infernal side and accepting it. Those wings shall come in handy. And then takes her leaves. Lilith wakes up with a big breath <gasps> and looks down and sees that she's now back in her body. She gets out of bed and quickly opens the door and goes to see whoever is available first when she runs out of her room. And whoever that is, she will just run towards that person and latches on with a really tight hug. Who's it going to be? Roll a d4. Let's say roll a d4. d4. Okay. Yeah, because we all Yeah, d4. It. Let's yeah, do so it. Everybody's like, oh, me. Yeah. Just <laughs> like, Assign numbers wanna... before you roll it, but then okay. roll it. <laughs> all right. Call out your number. Who's one, two, three, and four? Three. We'll do them like they're they're on the display. So Damn it. Jobetta's one, Kashana's Shit. two, Pen is three, no works four. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. I got one. Jobetta. Javetta. <laughs> my All big right. sister. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I mean, this makes sense. You know, Javetta's chilling at home, I guess. Uh, you see Lilith with a softer expression and yells out, Javetta! And just lashes onto L- you. Lilith, is it? Oh, okay. Is everything okay? Are you just, what? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. We, j- I just saw you like yesterday. What? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Wait. And she like kind of holds her back, and she kind of like looks at her in the eyes, and she's like, "Wait, are you? Is this like my Lilith?" A tear starts to form, and one falls to the side, and she'll better like. <laughs> She fucking brings her back in and she hugs her and she's like, how, how, how did you, how, how? I don't know. She let me, she let me out. I don't understand it either. But I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to break our family. You don't have anything to apologize for. It's okay. And she did this, not you. And while Lilith embraces and takes in that and Javetta's words, um, meanwhile, <laughs> Uh-oh. back in the dark corners of Lilith's head and her mind, Hellsinger is walking in the dark. Anyone would probably say it's almost aimlessly, but she walks as if she knows where she's going. Now, let's stay ahead of another issue. And then shouts, Zariel, did I get lucky? And perhaps were you consumed by the mine eater from earlier? Oh. Don't be shy, Zariel. We both know you're not that lucky. 
<laughs> That's just what you think. I think it's time we have a little chat. And I'll end it there. The story continues next year. <laughs> Class dismissed. There was adventure, but you guys wouldn't venture. Instead, you said the mountains looked real nice. Middle of winter, you went to the hinter. Lands of permafrost and frozen ice. You hid from every danger, you wizard, rogue, and ranger. And found the perfect alley for your quest. In the lands of no man, you guys built a snowman.